Hello everybody, I'm Neon Icy Wings, and today I'm going to be trying Fun Fantasy XIV for the first time. And now, to click play, and hope that it doesn't go crazy. Like, I tried Star Wars The Old Republic, and it's like, we're going to put the resolution at 8K! Why? Why would you do that to me? Alright, this works for me, it's in windowed. Thank you for having mercy, Square Enix. And now we just... Calibrate controller. Uh, I don't have a controller connected, so that's a bit weird. No, thank you. Ooh. Very nice, it actually has THINGS! That's always nice. I would like full screen. Five billion different <laughs> configurations for everything. And wonderful music already. Let's see. I want... Um, yeah, let's try just the 30 frames for now. Yes, I shall cop this. High resolution. Well, actually, let's put 60. I'm very indecisive. I don't know why there's two 60s. That's a bit weird, but meh. What you gonna do? What can anything do? What da? And then high resolution UI settings. No, thank you. Boost gamma just to just a little bit. I like gamma being up a little bit. Let me get 60, thank you. Character lighting, I don't know what that is. And let's see. Graphic settings. Real time reflections. That would be standard. Glare! Why would anyone want glare? Disable rendering of objects were not visible? Yes. Shadows? Yes. Yes. Yeah, just everything. Movement physics, sure. But I think that'll be enough of that. Let's go to Data Center, I guess. Apparently, it wants me to be primal. I want to be crystal from the little bit of those ashes. I want to be crystal. Funny thing, while I was talking to other people, and there's just like, yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around data centers and worlds. And just like, uh, they said, don't go to Ether. That's where all the streamers are, and it's a bit of a rough town, apparently. That's a little weird. But yeah, I'll go to crystal, I guess. Confirm. Connecting to that data center. I mean, it had it be... Alright. Apparently that did a thing. Uh, hide then. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Crystals are a Amid big thing in Final seas. Fantasy. Encompassing the and I've only ever played one. Three great continents. There lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aorzia. Aorzia. <laughs> Just the pronounce of every letter. In history, chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the astral era. To date, all have proven ephemeral. Who is this a recap? Yep. There's the one big thing I know about Final Fantasy XIV. The they nuked the first iteration. Era, the Northern Empire of Gollumol amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Aorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. 
Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamor, was plucked from the heavens through Imperial machination. Oh! From its core emerged the Elder... So people intentionally made the monster awaken. Upon the realm. Yeesh. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Amazing that they're like, well, we messed up a bit. Let's just destroy everything and retry. And they made it an in-game event and everything. Huge respect to the Final Fantasy XIV people. That <laughs> they actually made the reboot just part of the story of the world. Oh, hey, it's a behemoth. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. It's Chocobo! By the promise of peace Adorable little peace. things, aren't they? Amid this period of great change, the only other thing I know is that that short-haired dude is supposed to represent us. So yeah, that's a really good introduction. It's like, here's a world. Oh, it continues. Back to the crystal. Or is this... May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. Like, I don't know. I'm just super excited to get on trying this. Especially because apparently the way people said, Welcome to Eorzea. Before you venture in, you must first create a character. Yes. But yeah. The way I heard it explained is like, this is less MMO and more like RPG, but let's see. Here, the here are said to have first traveled to Eorzea from her surrounding continents and islands. Three great migratory waves later, they are now the most populous of all civilized races. They exhibit a relatively modest physique, both in height and build, and are known for their peculiarly short rounded ears. Heors are well suited for traveling long distances by foot, a trait throughout uh, thought to account for their swift proliferation. Their espousal of eclectic variety of languages and traditions is a legacy of their diverse heritage, as is their resulting lack of unified cultural identity. Elizin. In former times, the Elizin were the sole inhabitants of Eorzea, claiming dominion over her. Traditionally, a nomadic people, the tall, slender Elizin, believed the realm to be theirs by divine right. Unfortunately, this belief made the eventual appearance of the Hyur and their multitudes akin to an invasion, and a long history of conflict ensued. Ultimately, the Elizin diverged into the two clans that exist today. The Wildwood Elizin took to the forest to protect their homeland, while the Dusk White Elizin withdrew to caves and subterrain, opting instead to avoid all contact with any but their own. Lollafell! <laughs> the most odd looking, I'd say so far. A wee people spotting short, rotund bodies, the Lollafell appear as no more than children to the eyes of most. Many of these nimble little folk hail from the islands of the South Seas, where they practice a simple agricultural lifestyle. It was not until the opening of maritime trade routes that the gradual migration of Lollafells to Eorzea began. Now one of the most well-established races in the realm, Lollafells can be found in great numbers in nearly every city. Though Lollafellan culture uh, places great emphasis on blood relations, individuals are known for getting among, along amicably with members of all races. Mikyote? I don't know. The apostrophe scares me. Cat people. The ancestors of the Mikote made their way to Orzia during the Age of Endless Frost, traversing the frozen seas in pursuit of the wildlife upon which they subsisted. Adaption to the hunting lifestyle has fashioned them with a keen, a keen sense of smell, powerful legs, and a tail which provides them with exceptional balance. Mikote are known to be very territorial, and many individuals tend to lead solitary lifestyles, particularly males. Rugadane. Big boy. 
Known for their brawny builds and piercing eyes, the Rogadin are the largest and most rugged of Azorzia's races. The majority of the race, uh, realm's Rogadins belong to the Seawolf clan, a maritime people who earn their keep on or by the sea, be it as sailors, fishermen, or pirates. Comparatively, fewer in number are the Hell's Guard, who are known for their more earnest demeanors and can often be found working as bodyguards and smithies. Aura. The curved horns and beautiful patterned scales that characterize the Aura often give rise to speculation that members of this hero like race, native to the far eastern continent of Othard, are, in fact, the progeny of dragons. This, however, has long been disputed, with scholars citing several distinct differences in the two races as evidence of decidedly dissimilar roots. The first and foremost being the enhanced hearing and spatial recognition granted by an Aura's cranial projections, traits not attributed to draconian horns, and the second being gross disproportion in body mass between Auri males and females, again, a trait widely unseen in dragons. And then... Oh, we can't even look at them! Aw, oh, I wanted to read everything! But we shall be... Mikote, I guess. Environment, ah! Ah, we can't see... Hmm. Wonder why it's called small clothes. Very nice. But we shall be Makote, and I want to be pretty. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Select your character's clan. Seekers of the Sun. The self-proclaimed Seekers of the Sun are the diurnal clan of the Makote race. Their preference for the warm light of day pervades all aspects of their culture, as an apparent in their devout reverence for Azima, the Warden Keeper of the Sun and Goddess of Inquiry. They are perhaps known best for their striking eyes. The result of their vertically aligned pupils are faintly colored irises. It is also not uncommon for their eyes to be dis uh, disparately colored from birth, a trait considered auspicious among their kind. Seeker tribes can be found throughout Eosia, with large concentrations appearing near Limsa, Lomanza, and the Sagoli Desert. Starting attributes, 22, 23, 20, 19, 19, whereas Keepers of the Moon, hmm. The Nocturnal among the Makote have dubbed themselves the Keepers of the Moon. Shine from the garish light of day, they revel in the Shroud of Night, with most offering their piety to Menefina, the lover, goddess of the moon. They are distinguishable from their diurnal cousins by their darker fur, larger ears, rounder eyes, more pronounced canines, and longer skinnier tails. The ritual application of war paint to the face is still regularly practiced, as it is believed the vivid colors grant lunar powers. After a great many summers of conflict with the people of Gridania, the Keepers have finally made amends with the people of the Sylvan city-state, with some even choosing to make their homes there. I shall be one of the moon, because I have trouble seeing the sun or whatever. Bust size, because of course. Height, let's see. Not that much difference all, all in all. Let's see. Basically 64 inches and then 59 inches. That is not that, that not much difference. If you, yeah, sure, it's just 61. Bust size, because it's anime. Let's see. Again, 61. Skin color. Let's see. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Maybe a different location. Look upon these flowers as I try to decide a nice skin color. Mm. Maybe like that, yeah. Tail shape. Now this is the customization I'm looking for. Fluffy tail. Tail length. Absolutely monstrous. And now let's see, lots of hairstyles to go through.
Want something striking but still kind of long? <laughs> Pompadour with physics! Amazing! That's amazing that that's an option at all. Magical indeed. Perhaps. Again, want something striking. Hmm. That seems good. Air color! Perhaps, perhaps. Hmm. Thing. Perhaps this face. Jaw. Only one of four types. Let's see. Almost hard to tell the difference sometimes. Perhaps that one. And then I shape. Iris size. Eh, kind of negligible. Eye color. One of the most important things. Perhaps. Mm, purple. Purple because purple is good. Let's see. And here I was told that it was going to take a long time to do the character uh, creation, and uh, I'm just like, Oh, that! Ah, oh, that! That one looks good! Yes, that one! Mm-hmm. Mouth of which there's only four. Honestly, the one that we were given seems pretty decent. Ooh, ear clasps. Oh, it's like deciding if they... Asymmetrical seems nice. Yeah, clasp color. We get to design that too. Oh, that's great. Love it. <laughs> Little disappointed by the certain lack of color to a degree. That one. Facial features. Face paint. Let's see. Perhaps. But at the same time, I like that. Kind of like the subduedness.
at the same time, let's see what dark is like. Yeah, I just like the subduedness of the light. But you'd think dark would be like, oh, more subdued, and then light would be more prominent. No, it's the other way around. I guess, like, lightly painted, and I still don't know what dark has to do with it. Yeah. Mm, decisions. Hmm. Again, I'm dis disappointed by the lack of blue. But fine, we'll go with purple. Well, I guess we should hear the voices in all. Maybe. <laughs> it's hard to get a, a read on certain little bits. Number four had me until the la- uh, like the cheer. The cheer is just like, yeah. I'm very picky with my voices. Kind of a tricksy voice, ain't ya? This one's winning me over. Yeah. Number seven is currently in the lead. Mm. Okay, that just sounded weird like a squeaky door. Hey, that actually sounded like a natural cheer and laugh. But that sounded weird. I am so picky with my voices. Now I'm forgetting the numbers. Once I just dive into the... It's like analyzing. I think number seven is the winner. Mainly because it's like the most pronounced, just like, sounds natural. And I'm just very picky with my voices. Ah, and then confirm. Save appearance data, yes. Uh-huh. Save slot one. Um... First character. Okay, data is saved. Ooh, I get to choose my character's birth date. First astral moon. I don't know what any of this means. Astral umbral, astral umbral. Uh, you shall be first umbral moon the 17th, I guess. I do not know. Ah, the uh, Eorzean calendar uh, year consists of the moon Minifina revolving around 
Hydaelines, two astral and umbral poles. While fluctuating between each of the six elements in this, the year can be said to be the length of 12 moons. Ah, but yeah. Uh, 17th sun of the fourth umbral moon, sure. Mm -hmm. Select your character's patron deity! I get to choose my god! Halone. Halone? Mover of glaciers and goddess of war. Let's see. Uh, 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 let's find a way, a place that's easy to read the text. I'll probably just go back here. <clears throat> is the guardian deity of Ishgard. She commands the element of ice and is associated with the first moon of the Eorzean calendar. Halon is the daughter of Ralga and a bitter rival of Nofisha. Nofika? She is the most often depicted as a relentless warrioress armed with a bronze great shield. Her symbol is three spears. Minfina. Minfina is keeper of the moon and goddess of love. She commands the element of ice and is associated with the second moon of the Eorzean calendar. Minfina is the sister of Azima and the divine lover of Oschon. Oschon? She is most often depicted as a maid Carrying a round skillet. Her symbol is the full moon. Thaliak. Thaliak, ruler of the rivers and wisdom and god of knowledge, is the guardian deity of Shalayan. He commands the element of water and is associated with the third moon of the e uh, Eorzean calendar. Thaliak is the father of Limalayan. I uh, Pronunciation! I am terrible! And the teacher of Biragot. He is most often depicted as a reserved scholar holding an ashen staff. His symbol is the scroll. My pronunciation is probably an abomination. Nim, uh, Nimai, Nimaya. It's the M E I A that's getting me. Nim, Ia, Iaya, Nim Iaya is the watcher of the celestial bodies and goddess of fate. She commands the element of water and is associated with the fourth moon of the Eosian calendar. Nimiaya? I still don't know your name! Is the younger sister of Alfi, uh, Alfik and master of Ralgir. Ralgir? She is the most often depicted as a weaver donning a white silken veil. Her symbol is the spinning wheel. Limal... Limalayan? Her, this per, this god, watcher of the seas and goddess of navigation, is the guardian deity of Limza Lomen, uh, Lomenza. She commands the element of wind and is associated with the fifth moon of the Eosian calendar. Limalimim. Too many L's! <laughs> is the daughter of Thaliak and the eldest sister of Nofika. She is most often depicted as a strong fisherwoman wielding a long bladed harpoon. Her symbol is the wave. Oscon. Oscon is the ruler of the mountains and god of travelers and vagrants. He commands the element of wind and is associated with the sixth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Oscon is the brother of Naldthalm and the close companion of Halom. He is most often depicted as a carefree ranger wielding a bow of yew. His symbol is the walking stick. Birgot. Birgot is the purveyor of architecture and industry and god of the arts. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the seventh moon of the Eosian calendar. Birgot is the elder brother of Halom and pupil of Thaliak. He is most often depicted as an ardent smith with two-headed hammer. His ham uh, symbol is the hand. Ralga, Ralga, breaker of worlds, is the god of destruction and guardian deity of the now fallen nation of Alamigo. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the eighth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Ralga is the father of both Birgot and Halom, and serves as attendant to Nimia. Nimia? That's probably it. I don't know. <laughs> he is most often depicted as a magus, carrying a staff of bronze. His symbol is the striking meteor. Azima. Azima is keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. She commands the element of fire and associated with the ninth moon of the Azean calendar. Azima is the daughter of Althik and the elder sister of Mif Minfina. She is often depicted as a noble lady holding a golden fan. Her symbol is the radiant sun. Naldthal, overseer of the underworld and god of commerce. <laughs> I don't know, that, that, that tickles me for some reason. But let's see, did it? Uh, obviously of God, uh, Underworld and Commerce, he is the guardian deity of Alda, also. Since we're in a good place to 
read. We can see my character. Uh, da -da -da. Ah. Da -da -da. Naldthal. Naldthal is the single manifestation of the deific twins, Nald and Thal. That's interesting. He is the most often depicted as a discerning merchant holding a balance. His symbol is the cowrie, an ancient shell currency. Nofika, Nofika, tender of soils and harvests, the goddess of abundance, is the guardian deity of Gridania. She commands the element of earth and is associated with the 11th moon of the Eorzean calendar. For some reason, my tongue just wants to roll right into Eorzean. <laughs> Nofika is the daughter of uh, Azima and the younger sister of the one with too many L's. She is most often depicted as a jubilant farmer holding a scythe of steel, her symbol is the spring leaf. And Althik. Althik is a surveyor of change in space, a god of time. He commands the element of earth and is associated with the twelfth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Althik is the father of Iz uh, Azima and Minifina. I, I don't know why I want to add a thing after the N, Minifina. An elder brother to ne the, the one that I can't pronounce at all, Nimia? He is the most often depicted as an Astur emperor wielding a mithril great axe. His symbol is the great axe. I think I shall go with Minfina, mainly because ice is one of my favorite elements and moon, and plus it fits the character. I, or, or you, I guess you could say it's a little uh, stereotypical, but hey, this is nice. I, I like being like, hey, choose a god, and I'm like, sure. Mm -hmm. Now let's see. Disciples of War, or Disciples of Magic. Oh boy. Gladiator. Gladiators specialize in the handling of all manner of one-handed ha uh, blades, from daggers to longswords, be they single or double-edged, straight or curved. A defining characteristic of the art is the emphasis on diverse combat tactics, training its members to bring their martial skills to bear in any situation. As such, there are practitioners who marry sword and shield, seeking to defend their fellow companions. Others opt for an empty ha offhand, choosing instead to focus entirely on their sword arm. In all instances, the ages-old art of the sword makes the gladiator a formidable adversary in any encounter. And then Pugilist, which is like, oh, there's actually a little change I didn't notice. We actually see the weapons. Pugilist. The path of the pugilist is one of incessant training aimed at mastering the traditional techniques of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Though they command formidable power when unarmed, they are wont uh, they they are wont to use metal, leather, and bone weaponry to maximize their destructive potential. I always thought it was spelled like want because it's pronounced like want, but no, it's just won't. Hmm. The preference for fighting at close quarters makes negotiating distances an absolute necessity. Uh, Necessity. Necessity. This is why many pugilists are quick to learn their lightweight gear, allowing for maximum agility ensures them better success in battle than does cumbersome plate or chains. Marauder. The Marauder is a combat specialist whose weapon of choice is the Great Axe, a fearsome arm em emblemic emblematic of Eorzea's pirates. Their approach to battle is one of brute force, relying on strength and steel to crush enemies and sunder weapons. They are highly sought after for their ferocity and intimidating presence, and are often employed to hunt down monsters plaguing the land, or to turn the tide of battle between nations. Lancer. The strategy of the Lancer is to outrage and fluster opponents with their long, two-handed polearms, peppering them with a barrage of thrusting attacks. They are trained with a number of weapons, giving a diversity to their attacks that makes them extremely versatile combatants. In former times, the long spear saw the most widespread use due to the great part to the influence of the proud Lancer legions of Alamigo. Since then, the guild has greatly expanded its armories to include a variety of weaponry, such as the halberd and the trident archer. Ooh, and then I'll have to read about the starting locations too. But let's see. Archer. The enduring popularity of the bow is a testament to its elegant design, but this simple weapon would be of little worth without a surpassing skill of those who master it, the archers. Projectile techniques such as high-angle fire enable archers to assail their foes with deadly precision, even at great distances. Constant assessment of the battlefield enables them to carefully determine the most advantageous ground from which to loose, as well as nature of the arrows best suited to their enemy. Together with the longbow, sentries of the Elizan military, the shortbow hunters among the Mikote are widely regarded as most skilled with the bow. And let's take a look at uh, the three Disciples of Magic, although there's probably other 
uh, classes and jobs and stuff, but we'll learn that later. Conjury calls upon elemental forces present in nature and concentrates them to a potency at which spells can be woven. Through, uh, through practiced meditation on the essence of creation, conjurers draw forth and absorb ether from their immediate surroundings. A wand or cane made from unworked wood is then utilized to focus the aether until it manifests as the desired spell. The seat of the Conjurer's Guild lies at Stillglade Fane in Gridania, where the voices of Eorzea's uh, elementals are said to be most powerful. Thaumaturge. Thaumaturge. In the hands of a skilled practitioner, thaumaturgy can be force of terrifying destruction. At the heart of this school of magic lies the ability to call forth and command the latent aether within oneself through deep introspection. To then mold the aether into sorcery, the thaumaturge makes use of a scepter or staff, which is then housed a medium, a natural stone imbued with magical properties. Arcanist. Adepts of the art of Arcanum derive their might from symbols of power born of geometric techniques hailing from across the southern seas. Held within occult grimoires, these symbols lend shape to the Arcanist's aether, thereby allowing him to produce myriad powerful spells, using the self-same symbols to unlock the latent power contained within gemstones. Arcanists are also able to summon forth familiar known as Carbuncle to carry out their bidding. Neat! I'm probably going to avoid doing magic because that feels like a bit uh, finicky and specific and uh, probably going to have me rage. So I think I'll stick with Marauder because I think it also is the basis of the warrior class. But let's uh, see about uh, the starting locations before we make our final decision. Ulda. Ulda. The bustling commercial city, a uh, commercial hub of Ulda, sits amid the desolate desert, uh, yeah, desolate desert, landscape of southern Aldenard. Aldan, it's kind of hard to read with that, uh, back for me, but <laughs> my eyes. Aldan, uh, culture is known for its affluence, and the wealth of n the nation comes in large part from its abundant mineral resources and cloth crafting industry. Though it is the Sultana who claims sovereignty, true power is wielded by the Syndicate, a council set by six of Ulda's most elite and influential Naldthal is the nation's... Oh, I... I put too many words in that sentence. Most elite and influential are on that council. <clears> hmm. <throat> Naldthal is the nation's patron deity, and two great halls devoted to his two aspects lie in the east and west of the city. And Ulda's there as well. Limsa Lomunsa. On the southern coast of the island of Vilbrand, under the shadow of ancient cliffs sworn by the restless, uh, relentless onslaught of the Rotano Sea, lies the what the fuck is that word? Thalassocracy? of Limsa Lamensa. Its economy is driven primarily by shipping, but boasts lucrative shipbuilding, fishing, and smithing industries as well. To maintain safety of its maritime routes, the city employs a formidable navy known as the Knights of the Barracuda. Even so, pirate bands run rampant in nearby waters, reaving and pillaging. And then Gridania. In the eastern reaches of the Aldenard landmass, home to vast, dense woodlands and coursing rivers, lies the forest nation of Gridania. The cityscape is a mosaic of labyrinthine waterways and great wooden structures so gracefully constructed they seem a part of the surrounding environment. The favored goddess of the citizenry is Nofika, the p matron, but great faith is also placed in the wisdom of the seed seers, young oracles who guide the nation based on the will of the forest's elementals. Uh, hmm, do I want archer or marauder? Archer, because I'm split between archer, marauder, or gladiator, which basically means I have the whole gamut of every city, it seems. But let's see, uh, anything here? Nope, just <laughs> the three uh, magics, uh, the three cities. Let's see, marauder or archer? I think I'm going to go with uh, marauder. I think I'm going to go with marauder. Let us see what is in store, my cat self. As a giant axe wielder, let's go! <laughs> you have selected Balmong as your starting world. In a legacy. Let's see. 
World is another name for the server on which your character will reside. Once you have chosen a home world, chances to move to another will be limited. So if you have made uh, plans to play Final Fantasy XIV with friends, make certain that you all select the same one. I have no friends! <laughs> Worlds are divided into six different data centers, but you already know that. I picked my data center, Crystal. At the start of this, Crystal, this world's ace, is recommended for residents of North America. Hmm. Uh, let me quickly select another, but it says S Balmung should be, uh, diddly. EXP bonuses are currently being granted to all new players. This world is not accepting any more new characters. Oh well, but let's see. Brynhilde, Zalara, Diablos, Goblin, or Balmung? I don't know, Balmung has a weird ring to it. But let's see. Zalara, Zalara has a nice ring to it. An NA Legacy. I guess that just means that it's a server from before the before times. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Hmm. Zalara. But at the same time, yeah, it, between different worlds is limited. I don't know. Balmung. In a legacy. Eh. Oh well. To Balmung it is. Confirm. Forename and surname. Specify the first and last name of your character. Both forename and surname must be between 2 and 15 characters, and not total more than 20 characters combined. Only letters, hyphens, and apostrophes can be used. The first character of either name must be a letter. Uh, hyphens cannot be used in succession or placed immediately after, uh, before or after apostrophes. Let's see if I can... Give it to me! Ha-ha! Well. New characters cannot be made on this world at this time. You recommended it to me! Uh, let's return. No. So I guess let's go to Zalara. See if that works. Begin a new game with this character. Let us indeed. Into the light and darkness. Ah, look at the vogel. Damn it. I guess I should have been a bit more aware. But I don't know the specifics. Ah. But I guess while we wait, I shall give my overall thoughts on the character creation. Like overall, I kind of like the certain aspects like, hey, pick your clan because you're this specific race. Oh, we're, we're apparently going right in. Hmm. And also the fact that you're like, hey, choose a chosen deity. And then like the different classes have different starting areas. It's like, it's super cool. Uh, the customization felt a little limited, but eh. <laughs> if it was too much, I probably would have been there forever. And also, <laughs> you're in a waiting list, and then it's like super fast. But let's see. Oop, opening cutscene time. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm floating in the void. Probably before the... <laughs> Nope, I was floating in the happy light place, and now I'm falling into the void. Here. Yes, voice. Here. Feel. I don't know what this voice wants from me. Wants me to exist, I think. There's a sun. We have to touch the sp Okay, no, it's hell! It's hell and evil! Oh no! Hello, creepy man with the creepy mask! So the sun just spits out an evil man. Now what? Okay, end game armor. 
So this is a tutorial. I must beat up the evil man with my axe. That's creepy. But I have an axe, so everything is a nail when you have a hammer. So let's beat up this apparition that the god's son threw at us. See, this is why I worship the moon. The moon doesn't spit out evil dudes to try and kill me. Oi, you all right, lass? No, I was tripping, apparently. I don't even know where I am. Grizzled passenger. You are moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. Rolling on, uh, rolling off the ship got your stomach churning, has it? I don't know. I don't even know where I am. Who are you? You look cool. Hmm. Don't seem like seasickness, now that I look at you. It'll be the Aether, then, I reckon. Some are more sensitive to the stuff than others, see? And we ain't too far from Vilbrun now, which is chock full of Aetherites. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. This is a fancy ship. I've never seen a frickin' ship like this. Uh, might as well have been bloomin' seasickness. Ship's leaping around like a demented chocobo today. I reckon I might head out on deck and get myself a breath of fresh air. Limsa Liminza is still a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake and all, how's about you keep me company till we get there? Ah, you can be my tutorial man. Them young'uns don't so much care for conversation, see? And, uh, Anrod. Anrod Brennan's the name, and Pedlin's my trade. Neat. Well, they were right. Those, that specific race species of people is indeed a bunch of sailors. And dear God, this is a big ship. It has a balcony underneath that platform. Ah, smell that salty sea breeze. Now then, lass, judging by your unusual garments, I'd say you're one of them new adventurers, am I warm? I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call living. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business, these days especially. What was it that first attracted you to it? Oh boy, do we actually get to answer? Hmm... I guess... I don't know. Ah, to win glory! Glory, eh? Well, if you're willing to take on them tasks as other folk ain't, an adventurer such as yourself can win fame what coin can't buy. When you arrive in town, you'll want to report to the Adventurers Guild. You can find everything, uh, find out everything you need to know about the adventuring business in there. Just remember, though, there are more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Well, unless you have a healer. Is it time for death? Is it time for evil? We're being attacked! It's pirates! Well, foreign pirates! Ships off the starboard bow! Pirate colors! I picked the right place! Seafaring war? Nice! Pirates? Bloody hell! Well, bloody hells. Have you no sense? Get below! But I have an axe. I'm the main character. It didn't even knock over the champagne. What's the world coming to? Pirates firing on a ship flying lemons and colors? Bastards either have a boatload of balls or bugger all for brains!
You can rest easy, friends. We've made it out of cannon range. And no buccaneer's bark will catch this flighty temptress once the wind's in her sails. For some reason, I'm doubting that. That was too bleeding close. Glad one of us kept our head on our shoulders. I reckon I'd have lost mine otherwise. If them pirates gave up the chase, we must be close to port. Let's head up on deck and have us a look, shall we? So far, enjoyable. Kind of weird, like, hey, let's go up on deck. Pirates! Ballow deck. <laughs> kind of silly, but... <laughs> I don't see anything for miles. By the by, is this your first trip to Limza Lominza? Yes, it is my first trip. It is! Well then, let this journey itinerary tell you the ins and outs of your destination. <clears throat> Limza Lominza prides itself on being Eorzea's foremost naval power. Weren't too long ago that the place was ruled by pirates, but thanks to the current Admiral Sil uh, Sil Civilism. <laughs> Language is b I'm bad. Admiral Silvizen influence. The city state could almost pass for a respectable nation. You'll never guess she was once a rum swilling buccaneer herself. <laughs> of course, most folk ain't so quick to change, and with a town full of liberty loving ruffians, you can imagine how many naysayers and troublemakers she's got to deal with, like them pirates who took a fancy to us just now. And if that weren't too bad enough, I've heard that uh, Sahagen Sah are raiding the coast just as bold as you please. Them are the sea dwelling beastmen the locals call fishbacks, in case you didn't know. Land ho? Ah, at long last. Land ho! Behold, Limza Lominza. A nation blessed by the ocean's bounty and beloved of l uh, the one with too many L's! Lil. Lil. Lim. Lion. Lim. Lion. Goddess of navigation. I almost half expected us to have to fight off pirates. But we're not important yet, so that makes sense. We're just a random person. On a windswept isle in the southwestern corner of the realm. Now this is a narrator. Great voice. Amidst the roiling waves of the Rotana Sea lies the maritime city-state of Limsa Luminsa. Aha, I pronounced all that right. To this haven for bandits and brigands, cutthroats and curs, seekers of both freedom and fortune, comes a lone adventurer. This is neat. Neat architecture. Very fantastical and kind of medieval. I love it. Alone yet not alone, for the hero's arrival has drawn the gaze of the nation's patron deity, oh. Lim Lane. Lim Lane! Lim Lane! Thank you! Lim Lane, I can t I can what see it now. Shaking fate as she described in the churning waters of this mortal's future. Yeah, probably something along the lines of this sprout gun die. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. By way of thanks for saving me arse earlier. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. <laughs> I like this dude. Don't die. I want to meet you in the future. Through peril and hardship, discovery and triumph, may the navigator guide this brave soul on her life's voyage. 
Battle Sea swallows all. <laughs> well, that's an ominous hen. Till sea swallows all indeed. Oh boy. Final Fantasy 14. Neat. Now to probably go forth, become obsessed with this game, and then be like, shit, now I have to pay a subscription, because I'm doing the trial right now. Nice music, nice graphics, nice introduction, even though there's been no gameplay so far, which doesn't bl uh, uh, bother me none, so long as it's enjoyable. Look at the yellow shirt man. He looks important. You- Hey, yellow jacket infantryman. <laughs> hey, you there. Oh, <laughs> wrong voice entirely. I, I mean you. This is my district and I make it my business to know all the scum that washes up in it. How dare you. Ah, an adventurer fresh off the boat, is it? Well then. Allow one of Limsa Lominsa's finest to set you on the right path. Hop to it, lass. I haven't got all day. You want me to beat you up? I don't know social cues, especially in this fantasy land. Welcome... Ah, one second. <sighs> Stupid body. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, a bustling city-state filled with scoundrels and brigands, the rough-cut diamond of the Rotano Sea. Please select the control scheme you wish to use. Keyboard and mouse. All right. Uh-huh. Move character with buttons, or R. Move things around, move camera. All right, jump. Follow the instructions to move your character to adjust the position of the camera. When you're ready to proceed, talk to Risflaw. Alright. Um, no thank you. Because I don't want things to open up. Let's see, okay. Nice control so far. I guess I can... Is there anything else? Nope. Alright. Then talk to dude. Accepting quests. Once you've initiated a quest, you a prompt will appear detailing subjectives and rewards. Click on the accept button in the lower left to add the quest to your list of current duties. All right. Uh, to be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Limsa Lamensa, you must first register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. I get experience and gill. Talk to me. I'll have to shut down maybe the chat because I don't know. <laughs> I don't do MMOs. Now, now then, I'm sure you're itching to explore, but adventurers are required to register their presence in the city. And without a bit of local knowledge, you're like to get your throat slit in some piss-stinking alley. So before you do anything else, get yourself over to the Drowning Winch and enroll with the Adventurers Guild. Is it just like right over here? It's not far. Just head straight down the street and speak with Grefar. He'll show you how to work the big da uh, the big moving platform we call the Crow's Lift, and that'll take you to the pub. Once you're there, look for a fellow by the name of Badron. He is the proprietor of the winch. He might curse like an ale sodden soiler, but the man's got a soft spot for wide-eyed newcomers like yourself. He'll set you straight. Got all that? Good. Now run along and may the navigator guide you on your journey. Quest accepted! You have begun a quest. Use the duty list to help you and complete your task. Duty list. Upon accepting a quest, the current objectives will appear under the quest title in the duty list on the right side of the screen. A maximum of five quests can be displayed at once. Clicking on the title will open the que uh, quest in the journal, allowing you to review the objectives and rewards. Alright. Ooh! Neat. I'm unattuned, apparently. Chocobo Keep, adjoining area. I almost want to see if I can attune to that. The road to 70. Experience earned well below level 70 is dramatically increased. Oh, I thought for some reason that was on that. Mm. Well, either way, let's see. I just have that. I wonder how these are worked. Negative one. 
Negative seven. I don't know how that works. I'll have to see later. Well, off to Griffa. Hey, it's more Mikote. What do you got to... The crow's lift will carry you up. All right. You'll need to speak with Greffa and tell him where you wish to go. Oh, initiating quests. Non-player characters in PCs offering quests can be recognized by the exclamation marks above their heads. Right-click the mark to bring it up the quest window. Welcome to Limsa Lominza. If you're he if you've a mind to visit the Drowning Winch, the Crow's Lift will take you there. I want to go, cause I'm a Sprout, and I have nowhere else to be. All right. Is there anything else here? Collecting rewards. Complete a quest by right-clicking the NPC with the check mark displayed above his or her head. Completing quests will earn you a variety of rewards for items and gil to experience points. Hello, my dude, Badaron. I'm reading this low-resolution text. Greetings to you, lass. What'll it be? Ah, uh, but you ain't here for to drink, are ah, you? Yeah. You've come with a mind to try your and uh, uh, to try your mind to try your and at uh, uh to v I'm I'm terrible at language. You've come with a mind to try your uh, try your hand at venturing, I reckon. Well, you'll be no shortage of work here in Nimza. The name's Badrin, and the, this most hospitable of Hostilleries is the Drowning Winch. It is also the home of the Venturers Guild here in Limsa. That's we. That's why we've got a desk specifically for handling guild business, and why I seem to spend more time saving the Nexo Alps like yourself than wetting the throats of irregulars. Venturers have a knack for finding trouble, see. Not that they need it in these parts on the counter, there be in trouble wherever you look. If you manage to steer clear of the fish box and the kobolds outside the city, the pirates on the inside will get you instead. And if they don't manage, there's always the Galleon Empire to finish the job. Oh, no one's... No one knows what they're planning, of course, but they're planning anything. You can be sure it's to kill the lot of us. Aye, this town seems peaceful at a glance, but look again. And yes, you'll see a people living in fear of what tomorrow might bring. And who can blame them after everything that's happened? Oh, Eorzea took a mighty blow during the calamity, but our homes weren't the only things that got wiped off the face of existence by that thrice damned bastard of a dragon. It took our bleeding memories too! And no one's been able to explain it in a way as to make an ooze since. None of the folks what saw it and lived to tell the tale seem to agree on how the tale actually goes. It is all foggy, like recollections from an odd night on the ale. You can imagine why people might fear you yeah, the future if they can't rightly recall the past. But there is one thing we all remember. And that's the group of Venturers what laid down their lives to drag Eorzea back from the brink when she was bound for the abyss. Well, I say we remember. Truth is, well, we ain't forgotten what they did for us. This God's damn calamity spawn memory loss robbed us of their names. It won't even let us picture their damn faces. Tis like staring at a gull flying in front of the sun. All you see in your mind's eyes is a shadow set against a blinding glare. And that's how every bugger describes it. By the way, give or take the odd goal. Is this what's got people calling these heroes the warriors of light? I like the storytelling. I like this so far. If Limsa's ever gone to put this time of darkness behind it, it's gonna need venturers to help banish the fear. It's gonna need new heroes like the ones we lost. Maybe one day you'll be one of them. And that's why any aid we ha can give to a venturer is effort well spent. What say you lass? You're willing to lend us your strength? You're damn right, my dude. 
my thanks to you, and to the navigator and all. I knew she'd steer you my way for a reason. Ah, uh, but listen to me yattering on like a sun-touched fishwife. Tis high time we got your mark in my book. Put your scroll right here. He has such a friendly face. I'm loving this so far. Neonice Wings, is it? And a fine name it is. Congratulations, you're now an upstanding member of the Vitra's Guild. You there, adventurer. You sailed in one of the last ferry, did you not? The captain reported being attacked by a pirate vessel, and several witnesses have testified independently that a passenger matching your description went out on deck mere moments before the incident took place. Sending your friend's signals, were you? Now hold on just a moment there, officer. You've got the wrong lass. This fine upstanding lady is... A uh, young lady is me dear departed grandma's sister, niece's cousin's closest companion. The lass wouldn't be caught dead fraternizing with such unsavory elements. <laughs> I love this. Butteron is a bro. He is... He is... He is the man. I, I would like you if you continue. Is that right? <clears> hmm. <throat> You're surely aware of the recent kidnappings. Respectfully, then, we cannot be too trusting of outsiders at a time when the loyalty of even our closest friends is in doubt. Ah, you make a good point there, officer. A very good point, very wise. You needn't worry, though. I keep one eye open all times, me and two more often than not. Now, sir, what say you tanker than my finest ale before you return to your duties, eh? Not a watered-down cup of piss like last time, I should hope. Ain't got the faintest idea what you're on about, officer. The winch might offer some of the cheapest grog this isle of destroyed a marathon, but they don't mean it won't get you good and pickled. And look, there's a chair over there just crying out to be sat on, so kick off them heavy boots, eh? Uh, Batteron is a bro. You'll have to excuse these eager bloody yellow jackets. There's been a spat of kidnappings, you see. And they ain't got a close behind them. Naturally, they've taken the clapping irons on anyone who's vaguely suspicious. Which means venturers, visitors, pretty much every bugger else in this town. Don't take it personally, though. Us Lominsons ain't can be a, a can be an headstrong bunch of bastards, tis true. But given time, we'll grow on ya. Now, where was I? Oh, aye. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa, where the sea's as green as the faces of me patriots and after a few too many black belly whiskies. Now, take a moment to gather your wits, and we'll get started with learning yeah the ways of the city. This is an amazing opening. I love it. Complete. That was a great opening. I love it. This concludes the introductory game tutorial. You have taken your first steps as an adventurer in the city of Limsa Lominsa. Listen well to the wisdom of Batteron Tin Fingers, then go forth and discover the incredible adventurers that await you. I don't know what all this- ah, maybe? I don't know. But I leveled up, yay! Important quest used to tell the story- Silence, phone. Listen. <laughs> Important quests used to tell the story of Eorzea and her people are called main scenario quests. These tasks are easily distinguishable from others by their unique icon. Quests using this icon indicate a task or series of tasks are tied to a new duties or features you have yet to unlock. But I wonder what this is. Ah! It's just, hey, here's your uh, character. And this must be my inventory. Ah, good, good. Learning, learning. Close to home, Badron, proprietor of the Drowning Winch, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventuring. Yes! More adventure! More wonder! Right then, let's start you off nice and easy with three tasks that'll... Uh, what'll help you get used to life here in Limsa. Firstly, if you head down the a floor, then point your nose to the west, you'll get an eye full of the great glowing crystal of the middle of the courtyard. That's an is That's an aetherite. A device what can move you from one place to another in the blink of an eye. Ain't no swifter way to travel, providing there's an etherite where you want to go, of course. 
I have a chat with the yellow jacket on guard down there, and you'll be treated to a lecture on the workings of the device. Before you do that, though, remember to touch the thing. Strange as it sounds, it won't work till you have. Second on the list is the marketplace. You'll find weapons and armor and all your venturing bits and pieces for sale in the district what lies beyond the Aetherite. Don't go throwing your gill around just yet, though, or you'll get fleeced quicker than you can say, Where's my coin post, Swalite? I have a word with Swalsblet. Instead, he's the head of the Merchant's League, by the way. Give him this old... Octant and he'll treat you well. For the last of my helpful dints, I suggest you meet with some fellow axe-wielders at the Marauders Guild. I guarantee you'll learn a few tricks for tra swinging that head splitter of yours if you join their crew. Blah thought I at the front desk is the one to get you started. Got all that lass. Seeing to them three tasks will take you on a little draw around the city and help you work out where everything is. Now I've best getting on the run long, eh? Bugger it, there goes sending you off without telling you a uh, summit crucial. The bloody calamity's made a rot mess of my memory, I swear. Well, that or the ale. And they're old, well, you're out. If you happen to pass any poor swords what look like they might need your help, consider giving their tail a woe, listen, eh? Sounds like a chore, I admit, but you never know what interesting opportunities could be lurking out there just waiting for you to stumble on them. For example, any of yonder's been casting glances at you since you walked in. Why not lend an ear, see what she has to say? Aye, you'd like to find yourself running around, running old errands in the beginning, once, but once you build a reputation as a woman folk can trust, the jobs will get harder and the rewards more generous. If you, have, if you have the time, I'd also seek the advice of the smith or the winch. The lads as bear that title have some fine advice for them what are starting out in the profession. And that, my girl, is how you get about becoming a legend among venturers. He waved at me. He must be evil. Quest accepted. I like the bunch of, like, introductions and stuff as they, it feels grandiose. To leave the drunk, drowning winch, you must accept the quest making a name by speaking with Ninia. So far, yeah, super cool. Let's see. The main menu grants quick and easy access to the most of the game's main features. For example, selecting character under character opens a window containing your character's various attributes and currently equipped gear. Selecting journey under du a journal under duty displays a list of current and a completed quests and level level quests. Hmm. If you wish to customize the game's various settings, including key binding, HUD layout, and system configuration, they all can be accessed via system. Select active help to redisplay these tutorial messages. Game progress is saved automatically, so there's no in-game save or load functions. However, to prevent data from being lost or corrupted, it is strongly recommended that you end each playing session by selecting log out or exit game from the, from the system menu. Pressing M on your keyboard, selecting the minimap, or selecting map under travel from the main menu in the lower right hand corner of your screen will bring up the area map. If a quest objective is located in the, that area, you will be indicated with a special icon. The location of quest objectives can also be confirmed by clicking on the objective in the duty list. That's throwing a lot, and I'm probably going to forget a lot too. Stances. Ah, so I can activate stance. But I wonder how you quickly do... Like this. Those thingies. I guess I will learn in the future. Play guide. Teleport. Return. Or sprint. Well, let's see. Silver chocobo feather, a common symbol of friendship throughout the realm. These brilliant plumes can be exchanged at Calamity Salvagers for special reward. Shop selling price, none. Unsellable. This is gonna take a while to get used to, I can already tell. Cool. Let's see. 
Well, let's talk to Ninja. And drop that out a bit. Making a name. I get Earth Shard, a tinge of crystalline manifestation, blah blah, crafting catalyst. And then a potion for restoring health. Ninja, a veteran adventurer, has some information that might be interesting to you. Well, would you look at this? A shiny new adventurer. Listen close, lass. I have some information that might help put you on the map here in Limsa. I was passing through Bulwark Hall below not long ago and saw a bunch of herbs just scattered about on the ground. Now, I'm not entirely certain, but I think they might have been a black market wares known as dream flowers. Limsa Lamensa is a busy port and not all the merchants that blow in across the strait are above board, if you know what I mean. How'd the plants end up in the mizzenmast? Who knows? Might have been a deal gone bad. The important thing is you make a name for yourself by handing them in. Speak to uh, uh, Skarn, Skarnrail and she'll get you down the to the first floor. Then all you have to do is pick up the herbs and take them to uh, <laughs> Aldskaif on the Octant. Being a worldly captain, he knows a thing or two about such seedy goods. And I guess let's talk to the smith, because why not? As one of the smiths, I provide guidance to those starting out on the path of the adventurer. For the present, I suggest you learn your way around the city and endeavor, of which Badron shall no doubt aid you. Ah, he just... He just, well, talked to me. Let's see, to lower level. Let's go to the map. Good, you can actually look around. Company chest. I don't have a company. I don't think I can join a company. Repairs, trader, blacksmiths. Lots about. But let's just follow the quest for now. You wish to visit Bulwark Hall below? The crow's lift is ready when you are. Take me down! Gotta wait for it to load. Gotta wait for it to load. Limsa Lamensa! Why do I feel like that was like getting closer to me? Slowly zooming in. All right. Ah, oh, dang it! They went away. I was. I, 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 I wanted to read you. On some quests, you will encounter objects with which you can interact. Yep, yep. All right. I guess. Give me the herbs. The herbs. Why does this feel like I'm being led astray? And now there's a bunch of people here. Gather the peculiar herbs. Hello there, my piratey looking friend. Here's our mild skiff. You have some herbs you wished me to examine. Take these. Some quests require you to deliver items if an NPC requires an item in the R an item request window will appear. Drag the items from your inventory or armory chest into the item request window and click hand over. Yep, yep, pretty self explanatory. Yes, as you suspected, these are the highly illegal blooms known as dream flowers. They are the prime ingredient in the creation of somnus, a substance whose fragrance is said to lull the sniffer's mind to the sleep of death. Forgive me, I could not resist the jest. These herbs are not more than Althic lavender, a common enough export from Limsa Luminza. In fact, these probably spilled from crates that were loaded onto my very own ship. If someone has been f having a bit of fun with you, miss, but do not worry. You've learned a few things and made a new acquaintance. Well met. <laughs> I knew I was being had. And I leveled up again. Some items can be used, granting various effects such as... Yep. All items with recast timers cannot be used again until the timer has expired. Apparently there's a lot of going on over here. Alright, and now there's lots of quests. Uh -huh. The name of the Bruguer Consortium seeks the services of convenient unoccupied adventurer. Excuse me, miss, but might I have a moment or two to spare? You seem the type who enjoys being accosted for menial tasks, and I require someone to make delivery of to the dutiful sisters of the Eldwees. I wouldn't be surprised if you hadn't heard of them. The sisters prefer not to advertise their presence here in Limsa Luminza. They do, however, provide a rather unique service of which the Bruguer Consortium has recently been the benef uh, beneficiary. 
I would have you deliver this package to their doorman, Lonward, along with our profuse thing. Give it to me. Let's see. Level 60, shall we dance? Oh yeah, and then I also have to click the Aetherite. Hey, chicken head! I have attuned. Oh no! Okay, good. It was just a cutscene. Oh, another novice adventurer. Hi, Badran has sent more than a few of your kind away of late. It's always these people, the big dudes. I am Son Dimel, one of the Yellow Jackets tasked with keeping the peace in the city. It is also my charge to provide guidance in the use of this device. Fear not, I shall be brief. Aetherites are crystalline structures that tap into ethereal energies. They are primarily used as a means of travel swiftly from one place to another. Return to teleport, the most common transportation spells make direct use of the Aetherites and their connection to the flow of Aether. And as these devices are found in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer worthy of the name will wish to seek out and attune herself to each one. Once you have expanded your horizons beyond the walls of the city, you will soon find yourself performing the act of attunement as a matter of course. There is, however, no need for unseemly haste. The Aetherites found in and around the city will be sufficient for the present, I assure you. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I will be here to answer your questions. I think I understand. He's big. He's big and pretty. You are tuned with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. So if I ever want to leave, I can come back. Yep. The spell return can be used to instantly travel back to the Aetherite set as your home point. Casting the spell does not require any MP and can access by selecting return under travel from the main menu. Only one home point may be set. That's simple. Now let's see. Suspiciously sober. Let's do all the quests. Aldski, captain of the trading ship Orion, has some information that might benefit your standing. By the way of thanks for delivering my scattered lavender, I have a nugget of information that may prove useful to you, you see. I was recently approached by an unkept seafarer, which is not, I admit, particularly unusual for a man in my profession. What was unusual was that he offered a generous sum of gill to be introduced to any adventurers I might know. In my experience, sailors are not known to carry such wealth of coin on the, about their person, especially if the alehouses of Limzolomins are so close at hand. Kidnappings have not been uncommon these past moons. I suggest you take this information and speak with Glasrail, the guard who stands at the entrance of East Hawker's Alley. It never hurts to show a spirit of cooperation to authorities, lass. All right, and let's quickly bring up map and glance about. Suspiciously sober, another quests. Yep, just that way. Then again, there is close to home and close to home. But quests are down this way, I believe. I have no idea what's going on, or if this is just a normal day. Though so it appears to be a chicken party, all the same. With music. The goblin merchant, Sweetnix, appears to be in some distress. Pska! Sweetnix is beat! A beauteous goblin craftsman trade maker! Sweetnix makes busy deal with uplanders. New deliver letter to gate of M Milvan, but Sweetnix has shiver shakes. A planter walks to gate of Milvan for Sweetnix. A planter deliver letter to tax lady of. Sure. Music be loud. I think I might turn down things. Let's see. Just down a little bit. And then this. Well, let's talk to you, maybe. That is disturbing news. Your initiative is appreciated, adventurer. Uh, the captain placed the yellow jackets on high alert. Ah, uh, and while we have your ear, I need you to visit Friedwib and tell her the same thing you told me. You'll find her further down East Hawker's Alley. 
Three Dwib has frequent dealings with adventurers, so any warning you give her should soon spread throughout the city. But very interesting. This place has so many people. It is the starting city, but still. Very homely to a degree. A fine day to you, madam. Welcome to the most replete marketplace in the grand realm of Eorzea, where every shelf groans under the weight of wonders born from all four corners of the world. Pray browse the stalls until your eyeballs ache from ogling the overabundance of unbelievable bargains. Now, as much as I would love to elaborate upon the unrivaled quality of our merchandise, I must tend to some cargo but recently arrived at the docks. Hmm, you bear a gift from Badaron. Whatever could it- Ah, my Octand! By the navigator, I must have left it behind in the winch along with a week's pay and several bells worth of intoxicated memories. Here you go, it's a chest. I'm most grateful to have it back. This tool's a keepsake from my days as a ship captain, you see. Needless to say, your good deed must be repaid, and what better recompense than the wisdom of a master merchant? If it is simple and sturdy adventuring equipment you seek, you need look no further than the east and west arms of Hawker's Alley. Lest you doubt each gill you invest in arms and armor will be money well spent. Adventuring is, after all, a dangerous profession by its very nature. It goes without saying that Hawker's Alley boasts stalls specializing in the tools of every martial discipline imaginable. And within a few steps of bazaars and apothecaries that must supply, uh, most amply supply all your potion imperishable needs. Our keen-eyed agents procure a frankly befuddling range of wares during their sojourns to distant shores, so it pays to become familiar with the type and price of the goods offered by each stall. Such knowledge will serve you well if your purse is light on your time is short. Ah, but verbal instruction of this kind will only profit you so much. Experience has ever been the surest teacher, if not the kindest. I invite you to explore the markets yourself. I just love it. it feels like a world. It feels like a world and then I'll have to talk to you again because I'm a sucker for quests. Greetings, miss. Might I interest you in the services of a retainer? What's this? Some suspicious seafarers on the prowl of gullible adventures? A possible suspect in the recent kidnappings? Well, I'll be sure to pass on the warning to my customers. What of the merchants and travelers milling through Hawker's Alley? These kinds of unsavory activities can often go unnoticed. In any case, I promise you a sharp lookout for anyone being accosted by strange-looking sailors. So of uh, Swaz Blit, the master merchant of Hawker's Alley, wants you to look into the current market prices. You, Miss Adventurer, I have a work for you. I would have you pose as a customer and survey market's current prices. Surely I did not see you balk at such a simple task. All you need do is strike up a conversation with the shop owners. Haha, <laughs> conversation, I hate that. And glance over their wares. There are three merchants that interest me. Iron Thunder, Kyok Iorun, and Sinhio. Write down all you see in this on this price list and hand it to Bain Singh on the West Hawker's Alley and he shall reward you with the, for your service. Dear God, there's so much. But all right, let's do quests. Do 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 do. Well met, lass. Cast your peepers over these beauties. Not a spot of rust to be found. Every piece of fresh from the forges of Naldik and Vimel is. That's it. And that's it. <laughs> Aethernite shard. I click. I shall attune. Because I'm a sucker for clicking on things. You have access to the Ethernet. A, a quick travel throughout the city can be achieved by simply placing your hand on Ethernet shards. Uh, attuning with the grand access to the Ethernet, the Ethernet can be used for quick intra-city travel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kyokyorun welcomes welcome, customer. Kyokyorun loves his lovely trade. Kyokyorun's goods are goodly made. I'm not sure if I trust him. Hilariously, he's probably the most trustworthy. 
That's a fine rod, a fine rod indeed. A fine day to you, miss. What can I interest you in? Why, you seem interested in most everything, don't you? Is this another one of those investigations? Well, I have nothing to hide. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, okay. You look like the other dude, but you don't have purple hair. You're one of the made lists for Swoz Blit. Let's have it then. Here you go, mate. Nothing wrong with the markets, as far as I can tell. The yeah, after times get parts selling stolen goods at cutthroat prices and have drives numbers down the right cross Elker's alley. Thanks to these reports, though, we can tell the clans when the shady dealings have taken place. Good work, lass. Let's see. Proper procedure is over that way. I'll probably go ahead and check that and then take a look at the uh, close to home. Perhaps. Since I'm using the trial, I do not believe that I can use the market. Oh, it's raining. I like the atmosphere. So far, I just like the kind of just getting to know things, feeling the atmosphere. Let's see if I can do... Hmm. I don't know. I'm a very not sociable person. I know there's Sprite Balloon. Ah, oh, level 61. Mm, no, thank you. I'm sorry. Or is it a different person? I don't know. There. Yes, I do believe. Because I'm not really one for... Parties like... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a social person. We're a sweet nicks with those import records. Without the proper documentation, I'm afraid we sh I'll have to expel them from the city. Here it be. Why, these are sweet nicks' records. Glad I am to see they're submitted on time. Honestly, you would think that a goblin would have lost his fear of offices by now. Every month he submit these papers, and every month his tardiness forces me to consider his removal. As long as one follows proper procedure, Limsa Lamensa is quite welcoming of foreign traders. Pray convey these words to Sweetnix. Perhaps it will aid you in soothing the poor goblin's fears. In a right quest right after. Gil, he's collecting duty on imported goods. Here at Melvane's Gate, we inspect all the goods that are imported into Limsa Lamenza and collect uh, duty as the law requires. Some merchants, however, seek to evade this obligation and we must chase them down. I would be grateful if you would deliver these two ledgers, one to a man named Sundhimel, whom you'll find at the Octant, and the other to a woman named Letitia, who works at the Bismarck. If you're uncertain as to whereabouts of the Bismarck, ask Sundhimel when you meet him. I do believe I go this way. Nope, not that way. Dumb me. Let's see. I guess to Hawker's Alley. That's the one thing about MMOs that just gets into my skin a bit is like, uh, I feel obligated to be personable to people, even though I'm bad at being a person. It is very difficult to, like, get through it. <laughs> Loots of spruits. There you go, sweet nicks, rosy cheeks. Uplander delivered letter to f gate of Melvane. Uplander has wide heart and swift legs. Tax lady Batavja has kind backwards for sweet nicks. Sweet nicks has outflow of joy for tax lady. Sweet nicks is happy, Gobby. Gives Uplander jingle shine. Loads of people just hanging about. A ledger from Elven's Gate, you say? Yet more outstanding duty payments. When will these merchants ever learn? Very well, I catch sight of any offenders, I shall drag them to the gate, kicking and screaming if needs be. 
One more ledger bound for the Bismarck, you say? Follow this path to the upper decks and you will find the place. Learning everything is going to be difficult. It seems kind of like, uh, what's the word? What is the word? I'm trying to think of the word. What do you mean, wait? I see three open tables. <laughs> Beg thee pardons, good madam, but are you an adventurer, are you not? I realize this is sudden, but we urgently need help restocking our larders. We are in the midst of preparing a full course meal for soon arriving guests, but I fear we are short on fresh lamb for the main course. I'd be grateful if you could procure four slices for us. I dare say it would be quickest to obtain these directly from the source, wild lambs. In case you are unfamiliar with the creatures, I suggest you speak of Albifair, a century looking bulwark hall, just below the drowning winch. Tax evaders among our patrons, you say? Goodness me. I dare say this may well put an end to their appetite, but this is in the best interest of the city-state. If any of the merchants named in this ledger come to dine with us, I shall see that Melvin's gate is notified without delay. I know some people said, like from the, hey, if you're new, do this, and it's like, don't do all the quests, you don't need to, but I want to! We spare no effort in uh, to ensure that all pa patrons enjoy the finest food and hospitality, and it is no uh, so doubly hurtful when someone decides to leave without settling the bill. Neria Belago, a first-time patron, did just that. Rushamo is the one who lovingly prepared the man's meal. She is quite upset by the whole affair and has taken it upon herself to draw an illustration of the offender. Might I trouble you deliver it to the Yellow Jackets on her behalf? Okay. There's just so much. And I assume it's in here? Yes. God, I poured my heart and soul into that grilled dodo. If I ever get my hands on that scoundrel, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Here it is, my rendition of the criminal. Please deliver to the godbird at the Coral Tower. He will know what to do. This sounds like a hit. Am I aiding in a hit service? Honestly, feel so. Morden would like to completely <laughs> make you a completely legal proposition. You want for coin venture? How do you fancy working for the Kraken's Arms? One of the greatest part in cruising Limsa. If you're interested, take yourself up these steps to the balcony above and talk to Kravlin, our captain. Do right by him, and he'll do right by ye. Speak of <laughs> license to reeve. Let's see. License to Reeve goes up there, but close to home is this away. I should definitely learn how to do, like, ah, social emotes. And then this is how you can emote things. And then do not display and, and log, because I hear that that is a uh, good thing to do. I would like to add to favorites. Wave. Congratulate, and uh, no. There we go. I am unused to these things. Tons of quests. Let's see. Because I have license to reeve, deliver artist to a coral tower. Let's see. License to reeve, whereas to do. That is why it is a sheepish request. Meh. There's so many freaking things. So many quests. And I want to do them all. Uh, Gnade seeks help with a growing problem in Limsa Laminza. 
An alarming number of citizens have gone missing as of late, though I suspect you've already heard the rumors. It is essential that we ascertain their safety. To this end, I have prepared a list based on reports from our citizens. Would you be so kind as to deliver it to my colleague in Borwakal? Nidalika is her name. My fix in uh, advance, friend. A bilker at Bismarck, and you have an artist's rendition of the man. Uh, what in the seven hells is this supposed to be? It looks more like prowl of a ship than a man's face. Look, we would like nothing more than to bring an offender to justice. Tis our duty, after all. However, we will need to be a bit more, uh, to go on than this piece of art. It would be easiest if for all Furushmo would come here and answer some questions. Please relate to such. Back and forth, back and forth, but let's talk to you. Ho oh, there, adventurer. Curious about the Marauder's Guild, are ye? Any axe worth swinging needs two hands on the haft and the blade. We can make short work of a galley's mast. That's the kind of weapon our members train to use with deceptive swiftness and all too predictable force. Are you interested in hearing more, lass? Then why don't I give you a short version of the guild's founding history and we can go from there. It all started with the ships, you see. What ships got to do with axes, you ask? Well, building them would be pretty pr bloody difficult without a sturdy tool to lop down trees for timber. And since only the navigator herself knows when a ship will run afoul of a storm or worse, it makes sense for the crew whose carpenter to carry an axe on board. Uh, it all started with shipbuilding and ship repair. What, am I boring you? Hm. As I was saying, any tool on a ship can become a weapon, and, an and the axe is perfect for hooking yourself over the rail of an enemy vessel, perf letting loose in a whirl steel, and generally laying waste all about you. As Morsi Vares took up the axe as their weapon of choice, so did the bloody art of the Marauder begin to take shape, especially among pirates for strength and skill to save your place in the world. With an eye to assemble crews of battle-ready uh, battle raiders, the pirates started teaching the proper way to wield a chopping blade to their new recruits, and that's how the Marauder's Guild first came to be. But once the Gladiator Accord was signed to unite the Maelstrom and the pirates against Limbs' enemies, the whole game changed. The Accord itself was dismal failure, of course, but the Marauder's Guild was never the same. It was taken over, restructured, and purged of its pirate elements. It had been reborn, and is an institution dedicated to naught but the teaching of Eichsfatten. The members of the Guild aren't no needy, greed-driven cutthroats, neither. They were warriors who sought to use their martial prowess for the good of society. If mastering the axe is your heart's desire, then you'll find no better arena which to practice your swings. Think it over, then let me know if you're f fancy joining our ranks. Have a feeling I'll be seeing more of you soon, lass. I'll go ahead and grab you while I'm here. You decide to swing an axe with the Marauders, then... I get steak. Bloth Otter wishes you to reaffirm your desire. Yes. All right, then. All that needs doing now is to speak of the Axe Master himself. Simple sounds. I've seen folks slink out the door rather than put themselves in the path of that unnerving glare. That's the bloke right there in the middle of the room. Wern the Zoin's his name. Put some steel on your spine and look him straight in the eye when you talk to him last. Good fortune for you. That is a... A glitch. Or maybe just a long texture for some reason. Yes, I'm Weirzo and Axe Master, they call me. Not the most imaginative of titles, I agree, but one should not underestimate the value of directness. I welcome your interest in our guild. The art of the Marauder is used to rend, to cleave, and to destroy. It is not our way to simply outfight our adversaries, we seek to overwhelm them. A marauder must be the most powerful and enduring presence on the battlefield. He must account for the most enemies defeated. Our role in combat is that of a steel whirlwind, dealing death and destruction without equal. No doubt that questions have already been put to you by Blothot. Blothota. But once more shall I challenge your commitment. Are you prepared for the bloody carnage that awaits you, initiate of the Marauder's Guild? Yes. <laughs> Very well, your name. Attend me well, then, Neon. Hold fast to this moment of dedication. The path of the Marauder is a jagged and perilous one. The blood that spills at your feet will oft times be your own. You stand now as a student of the axe. Let us waste no time in testing the edge of your chosen weapon. You shall wade straightway into combat as befits a novice of our discipline. Go forth and slay the bleating, scurrying, crawling pests that plague the outskirts of Limsa Lomensa. 
Lost lambs, wharf rats, and little ladybugs shall be your piteous adversaries this day. Return to me once three of each creature has fallen by your blade. Fun. Go out there and murder. And I shall walk, because I like walk. Walk. Let's see. Which way I need go? Well, we need to go down this way again. See what she has to say about her, like, uh, shift, uh, ship aft face of art. Ah, so you've spoken of Gilbert? Bah! Within the bell, the Yellow Jackets will have that swindling scoundrel locked in a dungeon cell, and then I'll take my filleting knife and... Huh? Gilbert wants me to go to the Cold Tower for questioning? But what more information does he want that my drawing doesn't already provide? Is it a picture supposed to paint a thousand words? Amazing. Now let's see. Quest elsewhere is down this way. Least of me thinks. Just gotta get things under control and the controls, but it'll have to wait until I get into actual combat. Ah, the drowning winch. This place is confusing me. But we'll do the quest that I have and see where we go. Hmm, the smith. But we'll talk to you after we talk to my bro. Let's see, Badron. Ah, oh, there you are, Nia. Enjoy your jaunt around the city, did you? If you mean to base yourself in Limsa then that won't be the last time you'll visit them three places. And now you've got some of the uh, some ideas of what the <laughs> what's where. You can start exploring the rest of the town. You shown a good ear for listening, lass. Stick of old Badran, and you'll go far. I kind of like that it takes so long to, like, get places. Let's see. Combos! Melee-oriented classes, such as Gladiator and Marauder, can chain together their weapon skills to deal additional damage or inflict additional enfeeblements to their targets. This is known as a combo. Combos are not available to pugilists, says this class employs a unique weapon skill chaining system. If a weapon skill can be chained with another, it will be indicated in the weapon skill's help text under combo action. In the case of Vorpal Thrust to the left, if executed immediately after True Thrust, the potency will be increased. Ah, combo action. Some weapon skills must be delivered from a specified direction. Yep, directionals. When a weapon skill can be chained into a combo, its hotbar icon will be outlined with a flashing yellow border. The border will fade if the weapon skill is not used within a certain amount of time. That'll be nice to know. So I can kind of spam, but not. Oh, that's a lot. And then I get options. Badran Proprietor of Drowning Winch wants you to lend a hand at Summerford Farms. Still in limbs, are you, Neon? How'd you fancy a trip outside the city walls? I'd like you to visit an orchard by the name of Summerford Farms. Ever heard of the place? The owner's stall where is an old mate of mine. He's got himself a crew of mostly reformed pirate types, if you can believe that, and he's been trying to bring a bit of life back to the fields after the calamity ruined the soil. It mentioned need in another uh, undertomb, and your name spring to mind. Even though I'm right here. He's, he's magical. I gave you a glowing recommendation, so make sure you work hard and impress the old bastard. You need directions? The place ain't hard to find. Just take the Zephyr Gate out to the city and follow the road northeast. Well, now let's Sprout talk to the smith. Greetings, I am one of the smiths, a stoker of fires and forger of futures. As a dedicated member of the Adventurers Guild, I have been entrusted with the task of providing assistance to new adventurers. I see you must have... Uh, have but recently taken up the adventurer's mantle. The possibilities stretching out before you must be positively daunting. In the adventurer's guild, we see new adventurers as fledgling heroes. You are our champions of tomorrow, our nascent stars of litmanness. 
My, my brain does not want to say words. My fellow smiths and I are here to provide you with guidance, but the guild also enlists a cadre of veteran adventurers who will be happy to share with you their accumulated wisdom. You can recognize these helpful men and women by their title of mentor. Mentors stand ready to advise you on any aspect of adventuring. They have hundreds of quests under their belts and will likely have a solution for whatever dilemma might be causing you trouble. A mentor may even offer to accompany you on your adventures. I highly recommend that you take advantage of mentors' aid to enrich your experiences in Eorzea. Pray do not hesitate to ask me if you would like to know more. The new adventurer status is applied to all players who have recently begun their journeys. Amongst Eorzea's thriving population, there are seasoned players known as mentors who have taken upon themselves to assist these new adventurers. When a new adventurer and a mentor from a, form a party, they both receive a bonus to experience points earned. Upon invitation by a mentor, new adventurers are also gain access to the Novice Network, an exclusive chat channel where they can consult with mentors and share their experiences with other beginning players. Uh, no, thank you. I think I got that. Let's talk to the people. Vinia has informed you that, unlike last time, is sure to interest you. Ah, uh, you've returned. I hope you do not harbor any will towards me for my earlier deception. You see, I believe that most important lesson for a green adventurer is to learn that she sh should always question the motives of everyone she meets. If I have given offense, allow me to make it up to you with some advice. Tell me, have you ever visited the Eyes outside the Temple uh, Tempest Gate and past Madman Bridge? The sentries stationed there keep watch over the road, and when trouble arises, they sometimes turn to outside help. If you wish to make a name for yourself as a trustworthy adventurer, you should speak with Ankreta of the Eyes and offer your assistance. Uh, another name that I have trouble saying. Need your help to prepare a treat for Badaron. These days, poor Badaron's so busy looking after others, he hasn't been to, uh, able to look after himself. He deserves something for his efforts. Whenever he's in his uh, cups and starts speaking of the old days, he never fails to mention Eralai. Seems he and his mates used to eat the creatures on occasion. It's obvious he still has fond memories of that life, so I'm thinking of a few area umbrellas might be something he'd appreciate. Could you help me uh, procuring four of them? If you're willing to help, speak with Clindrail by the Aft Castle. She knows where various wild beasts congregate. Hmm. Apparently there's a lost and found quest of that away down to the lower decks. Yeah, just bunch go to the lower decks, and since that's level four. Just a random note and a random noise. There's like so many noises and everything. But yes, let's see. I guess I shall just head down. I can find the way down. No, that's not that way. Maybe. Ah, it's because I'm going the wrong direction. Am I? That way. Maybe. I do not know. Ah, there we go. Maybe. I'm terrible at finding my way around. Take me to Boar Call, I guess. I'll just wander around till I find something. Right, to talk to you. Welcome to Limsa Lominsa. If there's aught you would like to know, feel free to. Hmm? You got something for me, you say? A missing persons list? I'm not sure I follow. 
Thanks for bringing the list. I'm sure you memorize these names. If any of the missing persons reappear, you can count on me to spot them. Most folk enter the city via Zephyr Drift, which means they must pass through Bulwark Call. That's why I'm on constant watch here and undercover so as to keep the eye out for suspicious activity. I've been doing this for so long, I've become pretty good at judge character. If there's shady characters skulking about, you can rest assured I can pick them out. <laughs> Cheapest request, glory days, glory days. Yeah, so many. Ah, a fatal direct X error has occurred. I knew I shouldn't have pressed that button. Well, we shall go to the intermission. So that there's something pretty to look at while I try to put that diddy do back on. At the very least, my entire computer did not blue screen. Because that's the worst thing in the world. Please take me back, Final Fantasy. I did not mean to hurt you. There we go, hopefully. Connecting to the data server. Also, I just noticed that's a really cool art there. Yep, now I would, uh, how do I select to go? Just like that? Yes. Damn the game. <laughs> or more, I should say, damn the DirectX. <laughs> Because there I was, just trying to follow about, look for things, follow the way to find quests, and then... <laughs> dead. Because DirectX is bad. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's just like my experience with other games or if just my antisocial nature. But when it's just like, hey, join our free company, I'm just like, I'm not sure. I am antisocial and I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. It might be nice, but at the same time, I'm not sure how far I'll get in the game. Because again, like, then again, it's like 60 free levels and base game and a free expansion for the trial with a lot of limitations. New. No. Oh, I got an achievement, I guess. Maybe. Nope, I'm just one away. Interesting to tell me. I have entered a sanctuary. Now, back to looking... Ah, I can accept a quest from you. Welcome to the Heart of Limsa, the Mizzen Mast, the houses of Airship Landing and Ventures Guild, and at the very top, the command room of the Admiral, from where she keeps a watchful eye over Lemons and Air, Land and Sea. Ah, wrong one. The perfect angle to be like, oh, th th this is going on. Sounds like you're already in the Yellow Jacket's good graces. You truly are a model adventurer, a paragon among fellows. Um, do you think you could do me a favor? Sure. Just not illegal. You see, I'm supposed to go and fill up the street lamps with oil so that they'll stay lit through the night, but thanks to this business of missing people, I can't simply up and leave my post. If you could tend to the street lamps in my stead, I'd be eternally grateful. Oh, and when you've finished, please fetch for more oil from uh, Sister Boom and the Fisherman's Guild. We're running low here, and she can take care of our stores. Okay, okay. Key items. Yep, for uh, key items, use da da da. Then right click and appropriate. Mm -hmm. Understandable, understandable. Three days. Because of that way for the street lamp, then maybe. Yep, just the street lamps. Let's do the street lamps.
Use the oil. I'm a lamp lighter. Use. I kind of do like the diddly do. Just a lot of going on in the chat, it seems. The in game chat. Down this way, indeed. Also, these are very pretty lamplights, indeed. Yeah, seems like you have a nice amount of inventory to start off with. Armory chest. Since the armory system in Final Fantasy XIV allows you to change your class or job by simply changing the cl uh, weapon or tool in your main hand, it is recommended that you always have several sets of gear on hand. However, gear can take up a tremendous amount of space in one's inventory, which is why all adventurers carry an armory chest. All gear purchased, crafted, or found... Let's just go. Ah, can't really go. Meh. It's around. I need to go somewhere. Ah, so basically... Well, hate that that happens. It's like, I want to read and do things. No, you don't. But basically, I think I got the gist of that, where it's basically, hey, don't worry about, like, using up your inventory, carrying around a bunch of job equipment. You can just do. Nice. Very, very forethinking system. Even if I just know from the barest whispers that I will never own a house in this game if I ever did actually go and buy the subscription. And it seems like it'll just be down here. You're there, Fisher person. You're doing what? What am I doing with that girl? <laughs> I don't know why I'm giving them this voice. She has the nerve to ask for work, twaddle and try about her savings, only to foist it up on the first adventurer that comes along. Being young and pretty does not give you the license to shirk responsibility. I shall get her oil all right, and a piece of my mind to boot. Ah, and there's also a quest here as well. Oh, achievements. Congratulations, you have just received your first achievement. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventure in Eosia. And there are achievements for just about everything from leveling classes to uncovering locations to defeating enemies and earning gil. There are also rewards granted upon re uh, attaining certain achievements. Some of these include rare weapons and armor. Others include titles. Hmm. Very basic, but understandable. Uh, let's go ahead and get a quest from you. Uh, yep, uh, once you new fishing boat. The calamity really knocked the wind out of the f uh, fishing industry sails, but fisher folk are still are uh, starting to return to the seas once more. It's past time I did the same. But before I can put out to sea again, I need to have a new boat built. Our guild has always commissioned Naldik and Femils for the crafts, but they are beastly busy these days. If you want for something to do, mayhap you could run over to the Armorer's Guild and consult with Forgemaster <laughs> in my stead. I would... Uh, uh, know how long we might expect to have to wait. Dear God, these names are going to be the death of me. Ah, and there is a shard. I need to use these. Lots of quests to turn in. There's the sleigh, speak with Summerford Farms, 
speak of their eyes. To the upper decks. It's kind of hard to look through the map sometimes. But yeah, just like, go to the upper decks, it says. Everything it says, upper decks. I guess just go to the plaza. I shall head up to the upper decks where all the quests are by going through another so far the only bad thing I have to say is there seems to be a decent amount of loading screens if you don't know where you're going then again that's kind of true for most games hmm. fool me once and then yeah, just fool me once, alright? Let's head off to fool me once. Okay. Well, apparently there's a Level 1 red quest. I'm not sure why that is. Might have to look into that. See what the crazy thing has to say. It's probably like, oh, this is for an expansion or something. So many Aetherite shards I need to attune to. You've doomed yourself to the Aetherite Shards and Limbs. Ah, that's good. Uh, the Zephyr Gate, the Tempest Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible as Aethernet Destinations. Cool. Please let me walk. I would like to walk. <laughs> Rare sight. Let's see. Ah, there is a quest over here. Then I will pick up that quest and then diddly do. Just about. Badaron actually likes aerial umbrellas. God, I never even considered trying to eat one of those foul things. Nevertheless, if it's Aurelay you seek, you ought to find plenty by the river just past the Tempest Gate of the East. Uh, but has advice for any adventurers heading to the missing member. If you're looking for a place to wet your whistle, Scrag, I'd advise you turn tail and run. Captain Roswin's in no mood to be entertaining customers this morn. And even when she is, she ain't particularly good at it. Though maybe dealing with the customers, the sort of shite what might... <laughs> what might shake her from her doldrums. But if you mean to venture inside the missing member, you best remember to pay proper respects to the captain, lest you're afraid to go missing. Kneeling a four for you Kneeling a four er would be a good start. Alright, so yeah, emote. When words are just an uh, not enough, emotes can be used to express your feelings toward a person or situation. Highlight and then go to the emote section. Finally, select the desired emote from the list, in this case, kneel. Emotes can be used to set up your heart bar by uh, simply dragging them. Mm-hmm. Ah, screw it, we're here. Let's see. Kneel.
Oh, so she knows her place. Good. If only the Krakens had the same sense of propriety. Bastards keep seizing every Galleon ship before we can take a crack at them. Tis a, a state of affairs when your crew is reduced to preying on the levins of that ma mangy bunch of man boys. Me younger self would be right disappointed to see how we've fallen. Alright, what's the next quest? Uh, let's see. Uh, show her that you are disappointed. See, do, 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 do. Disappointed. <laughs> so you do know something of me pain, but your sympathy ain't worth more than a pint of piss. It's well and good we got an animal's permission to capture galleon ships, but what's the use if we keep uh, on getting beat to your prey? We built our reputation even right off the coasts of Vilbrand, not sailing a dozen malms into the bleeding sea. The few imperial dogs found in Limonson territory get snatched by krakens out into the open waters. I rallied my crew's spirits when I said we were rev reviving the old ways, but after all our struggles, they might seem a sign to let those bastards have all the fun. All right. And now... Rally. I kind of wish that it was an alphabetical somehow, because I need to find it. Or is it like not called rallying here? It does say to rally. Yep, rally Roswin spirits. Oh, hello there, Humdrum. I'm doing pretty good. But right now I'm just getting a feel for things. Top right has a sort, might be. Ah, top right has a sort. Sorty mouse. By name. Thank you. But yeah, so far I'm liking it. I just need to get a feel for things. Let's see. ABCD. Ra, 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 ra. Ready! Huh? You're trying to make light my dilemma? Don't push your luck, Scrag, or I'll get you off a hook like a regular pirate. Huh? You're trying to... W wait, that's it! We're pirates, goddammit! So we should think like pirates. Bugger keeping Lominson's waters safe. We'll raid supply shipments to the Garland outposts along the coasts of Aldenrad. Ha <laughs> ha It's so bleeding simple. I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Thank you for your unintended inspiration, Scrag, to think I must add you fed to the sharks. I find it funny if there's just an entire tutorial on emotes. But yeah, so far I've been having lots of fun. Haven't even gotten into combat yet. But I'm just trying out the trial, seeing if it can get me addicted and force money from my wallet into its subscription fees. I gather you're meeting with the captain went well. I could hear a cackling all the way out here. I admit, double click, damn it. It ain't easy playing by the Admiral's rules, but if anyone can find a way, Captain Rosen can. Hold on. You crazy new people and you're doing side quests. I see quests and I do them, damn it. Because I just, like, it feels wrong to see the icon there. Because at the very least, I know what is, like, I can go up to it and be like, Hey, what's going on here? And then if things happen, diddly dee. And if I don't want to do it, I can always come back later. Hello, guild's master. A new boat for the fishermen's guild, I'm afraid now isn't the best time. You see, we have recently taken on a commission for a galleon. This task alone has us all uh, has all our hands full. But look, I will see what I can do. The fishermen's guild has long been one of our best clients, and I would love to disappoint Susapu. It may yet take a while, but I shall endeavor to have her boat ready in a timely fashion. Ah, I get to choose. Ether, uh, give me health. They add a good amount of fl uh, flavor to areas, yep. So far, the side quests have felt like, even if it is kind of, oh, go here, go there, do this, do that, it just, it, it feels interesting and nice. 
and while you're in need of some trifling tasks to pass the time, then I have a job for you. Badrin is offering a reward for any adventurer who slays at least five wharf rats. There's no shortage of the pests uh, lurking outside the Tempest Gate, so you should hurry and take advantage of this opportunity. Hmm. I wonder what this will do. Unless you're blind and deaf, I presume you're wandering to our forge of your own accord, drawn by the siren song of Smithy's hammers, no doubt. In these uh, here hallowed halls, limbs as finest pound metal into all manner of tools and blah blah. I mean the whole bloody realms. Make no mistake, you need more than a big arm to join our ranks. But if you've got iron, your blood. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. I wonder if there's like a. Like anything is like they're big and red and they have a key next to them, so it makes me wonder. It's like, what is the p purpose of you? Because there's armor and blacksmith. I don't know the difference. I, I guess I shall join the blacksmith guild. Um, you got fire in your belly, that's I'll give you that. Might even have decent smith in one day. But that day is way off. I reckon you need to see where your current path leads. Ah. Before you can take up another discipline, you must complete the level. Aha! And that's why you just click on things. Find the truth. But now I just need to find my way out of here. Uh, for me one day, glory days, lots of that way. Alright. So now the question is... Aha! Maybe. Lower. Now I just need to find a way to get there. Meh. So far, the only wonky part is maneuvering this wacky world. If anything strikes you as odd, feel free to ask a veteran 14 year player at this point. <laughs> Will do. Do, 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 do. So maybe this way, and then I just hug the wall. Oh, here's a question. Is there a uh, way to, like, uh, click a button and then, like, do... How do the upper buttons work? That's my question. Meh. So, like, in the far-off future, would I have more than this section? Do you have to click them, or is there, like, a shortcut? Like, I don't know, shift one or something. Yeah, these upper buttons in the tier two. Me, I am not be. I've never gotten far enough in MMO world to make use of them before. Ah, I probably just need to go to that, probably. Me dumb. Probably, maybe. Yep. Ah, you can adjust the key bindings however you like. Good, good. And in the future, I'll look into... <laughs> when I actually need them, I'll look into it. Escape key bindings hotbar, I think. Mapping the realm! You can now accept the next class job quest. Uh, Right-click on a target to switch to active mode and ready auto attack. Approach and face the target to start the battle. Two rotating arrows will appear over the target you are currently attacking. Various actions, your spells, but a hot bar on the bottom, initiate your shortcut keys indicated. Most actions require magic points to execute, in addition to having cast times of various lengths. Detailed. Mm -hmm. Disciples of magic and disciples of war who specialize in rage attacks, such as archers, are best suited fighting their targets from a distance. The range and radius of an action can be confirmed. All right. Let's fight some ladybugs, I guess. Die, ladybug. Experience points. In the event, multiple solo players attack the same target. The uh, player who attacks first will always receive 100% of the experience points and, and items dropped. The players who f uh, follow will be rewarded based on their contribution to the battle. And then binding items. I think I already know this one. Ah, pick up item and then you can be bound. Yeah, cannot be traded or sale. 
Most items can be sold and traded freely before they are used in battle, crafting, or gathering. This is true regardless. Mm -hmm. Understand. I maimed it. And then let's see, I think Z to go into an active stance. Kill all the things. I must kill the wharf rat. It must suffer and die. I still have many quests of the killing of wharf rats. Oh, dear God, Mossless Gubu. That thing scares me. And either somebody's dying out there. You call that toad? Time remaining. Ah, I guess there's a... One dude. A level 11 running about. And let's see. Uh, back to quests. Speak with uh, at the eye. Slay Orale. Slay lost lamb. Where lost lamb? The map sometimes confuses me. Let's see. What level be those things? Level four. The fate system. Uh, fate is a full-time active uh, event. These public quests occur periodically in real time around Eurasia, and anyone can participate. When you sense a fate nearby, a message will appear. The type of fate, Mount Zenova. Mm -hmm. You'll automatically join a fate the moment you cross the event threshold. At this time, uh, the fate title objectives will appear in your duty list. If you are several levels higher than the recommended level, a level sync button will appear in your duty list. Press the button to automatically lower your level so that you may participate and receive awards. Cool. Well, let's see if I don't die. Oh! How dare you, Toad. Please don't attack me. Don't attack me, I don't attack you. Don't know why that other one attacked me. Ow. Odd. And these toads just keep coming out. The toads just decide, and now I will be your enemy. If you click the blue part of the quest on the right, it'll open a map. Ah, sometimes they make you go to different zones to kill mobs from the start of the quest. Understood. I also need to get the habit of looking over to actually read. Damn you, Toad! I'm not attacking you! Fuck off, Toad! When the Toads just decide, but we wanna die! I think another Toad was trying to attack me. Or they were attacking the other dude behind me. Fucking toad! Toad! Thank God. Let me leave, please. Once a fate is complete, a window detailing your award will be displayed. Awards will be distributed to all event participants are uh, based not only on success, but individual contributions. The more active you are in a quest completing events, the greater your contribution will be deemed. Contribution is dictated. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, cool. Toads! 
I obtained 8 gil, but I also got berserk. But I think I got that from leveling up. Let's see. Guarantees that all attacks are critical and direct hits. Duration 7. Uh, recast 90 seconds. I do believe that means, like... Is that, that, is that the cooldown? Let's see. Yep, that's the cooldown. The giant gooboos scare me. Die, Arule! Die! Oh, do I not need to kill them anymore? Yep, yeah, and I just need to find and kill me some lambs. Poor lambs. <laughs> Big damage. Big damage indeed with a 90 <laughs> recast seconds. You say if someone told you to come for me at work last, I'm afraid you've been had. We're known to hire adventurers too, but we always go through the adventurers guild. Even if we wanted to sign your duties, they'll check out regulations for me from doing so directly. Now, if you don't mind, a personal request if I could make of you. Sure. Ah, first I need. So I guess I'll go with you. And Kurta Sentry, the eyes solicits a service. My granddad's head of the Red Rooster Stead and X his name. He asked me to bring him some river toad livers, but the mere thought of putting slimy livers out of <laughs> out of slimy frogs gives me the shivers. Maybe you'd care to fetch a liver of free for me? You can get him by slaying river toads what dwell around the eyes. Let's see. I'm trying to think, where am I? So I do have to go around a bit from the way I went. But first I guess I'll go... Where are the toads? There's another fate going on over there, but I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> Cry me a liver. Eh, ooh, it actually points. Nice. Uh, I forget. Do you like other FF games as well? I've only ever played Final Fantasy XV. I've been meaning to get into the rest of the series, though. It's just that it's been a while, and I have a lot of games that I want to play. But so far, I uh, have enjoyed, like, the from what I've seen. I enjoyed, like, the uh, thingy things that I've seen of other Final Fantasy games. I need to play 7 and uh, Final Fantasy 6. Those are the ones that interest me a lot. 15 is a bit different from the usual. Yep, I knew that one. Up oh, there, they're already dead. 15 was fine enough, but also kind of weird even when I was playing it. Like, I have no idea how the controls work sometimes. Do you just like smickety smack? You have to, do, is it timed? Do you hold the, the stick in a certain direction while holding the button? It is very weird. But I enjoyed it enough. I still need to finish the review that I, I video that I'm editing. You're a lifesaver adventurer. Now I'd like these rooms to granddad myself, but I can't just up and leave my post. Not to mention the mere sight of those slimy things <laughs> makes me stomach churn. Would you mind doing a deliverance in me stead? Find an old Anok at the Red Rooster stead, and you can turn those rivets to the baby. I speak eloquently. Wild Dodo. I don't have to kill you yet. Wind Sprite. Ah, I don't get to kill you either. I mean, I could, if I wanted to. But now that I'm actually getting into combat, feels nice. Can't wait until my combos get crazy. Red Rooster. Red Rooster. Only after I fried one in dragon peppers. 
uh, has information that may interest wealthy adventurers. I'm not wealthy. Look at my money. 888. Number of the weast. Mind looking at something for me, adventurer? It may even interest you, in fact. I'm told that plots within mist are to be auctioned off, you me. He hells, even a twelve damned wandering minstrel could purchase their own piece of La Noskia. And upon the la uh, plot of land, you'd be free to build a house for you and yours? You can't tell me that you uh, the thought isn't at least slightly appealing, can you? It is a bit surprising that the blah 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 had the time and resources to prepare such an area of the kobolds and the primals causing all manners of trouble. But who am I to judge the priorities of politicians, much less pirates, eh? Besides, I'd like nothing more than to own my own home. And yet to verify the truth of the tale, just yet though, if you've no objections to taking a detour from your ventures, why not head towards the Gate of Mist and see if there's a Maelstrom representative who can confirm or deny these land auctions? Doesn't help me, I'm... I'm trial. I am unable of buying an, of land. Dear God, so many quests. I swear this is the last time I send my granddaughter mine to fetch the river toad livers. Harsh. Why, these are the livers I asked for. Ah, I should have known better. And Greta has been dainty since she was a wee lass. I regret any trouble we caused you. I heard that new wonders use fish livers as fertilizer, and so I thought I would give toad livers a try. A farmer can't be afraid to try new things. Nay, he must be uh, grow his knowledge as he grows his crop. Baby Sprout Cat Girl heading into house board, housing boards. <laughs> Indeed, hum. That's how this farm grew to be what it is. You'll do well to stick around and see. Well, let's just check out all the quests. Seeks. Flatbread. Hmm. Hope you don't feel sheepish about holding a wee bit of wool. The flux fleece is shorn in score. And the sack is full to set sail. Normally, the manic miller up north takes it and felts it for us. But it seems the only wool his courier is tending today is his blanket, the lackadaisical loafer. So I hoped you might see his sack of fleece down by the flock spin reaches the miller. Witzarn is his name. Interacting. Yeah, we already went over this game. Let's see, has been losing sleep over his sheep. They call me the Stead Shepherd, but all th three kinds of livestock we breed here fall under my crook. Nevertheless, sheep remain my first love, my one true passion. So you can imagine my dismay at finding my flock in flumpy, free f frumpy fleece. I can't very well take worn out wool to market. A sheep with no shine is uh, good for nothing but mutton. But where's the wool there's way? See the uh, Chartain has to say. That's a lot of experience. And a lifetime of meticulous research into the advancement of agricultural arts has taught me anything. It is the fruits of knowledge are incapable of preserving themselves without an adventurous brawn to protect them. I fear all my work will come to naught. Take, for example, the splendid ogre pumpkin crop I was able to cultivate. Years of uh, hypothesizing and test... My, my words are bad today, only to be snatched away by the subterranean sorners, the clever hedgemoles. I've already engineered the pumpkins to f resist fire, drought, frost, weeds, insects, and f uh, festive rituals. I just need someone to kill the moles. Give me the fleece. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to jump over the gate. Mulgram has some little lambs whose fleece was white as snow, but everywhere the little lambs went, lice were sure to go. Now we're stuck with lousy sheep. <laughs> In the time it takes me to brush one clean, the lice spread to two more. I just can't keep up with them myself. If you could brush three shaggy sheeps for me, we might be able to wipe out the infestation altogether. Let Mogram know his sheep are in ship shape once you've finished. Here, shaggy sheep. Uh. Lice comb. You need to use. Use. The shaggy sheep looks relieved. Also, speaking of the housing market in this game isn't the like housing just terrible to get into i think i watched a video about uh what is it house savages where people just stand there clicking at plaques for days on end 
Sounds like a nightmare. But yeah, so far I really like the pacing of the game. It really gets you invested. <laughs> it's a mess to get a house right now. For an adventurer, you certainly know how to wield a lice comb. As I'm sure you found, sheep are delicate souls that require delicate care. Truly wonderful wool requires time, love, and tenderness. You must caress their coats ever so gently. Listen to their soft bleeding in your ear. Feel the warmth of their breath on your neck. Uh, uh Calm down there, Mogram. <laughs> Earth Shard. Mogram doesn't know what to do about his dodos. Yeah, the game starts off nice and easy. It's great for first-time MMOers, and also great because you get up to level 60 for free. Even if you can only have 300,000 <laughs> gil and no house. Then again, I think most people who do play subscriptions can't get a house, like you said. <laughs> they may call the Red Rooster stead, but make no mistake, dodos are the birds that keep the stead steady. Those sweet and tender eggs, the succulent meat. So long as you remove a dodo, uh, dodoling's poison glands, you're in for some scrumptious and healthy poultry. They're so delicious, I have to remind myself some birds just aren't meant to be caged. Or perhaps I don't. Talk to x Pion and see if we can't return those exquisite creatures to their pen. <laughs> Freaky dodo birds. Am I ever pleased to see you? I was about to cry foul, but with uh, your help, we can round them up. The, those dim-witted dodos pecked through the fencing and flew the coop. Uh, fled the coop, luckily. They know better than to leave the stead. There are three ble uh, three bolting dodos in all. If you spot one, just throw one of these dodo-sized sacks over its head. Once you've got the birds, would you mind leaving them in Mobgrim's care? I need to repair the fencing before we can return them to the enclosures, you see. Madness. Bolting Dodo. Here, you have a sack. <laughs> I'm just gonna carry this Dodo away. Yeah, Dodo. Dodo, I'm here for ya. I'm here to take you home. Yeah, Dodo. Get in the sack. <laughs> Supposedly we're getting fixed. Ah, I think I did hear some things like uh, a lot of things are changing come in the walker. But where's the dodo? Where's the dodo? Ah. Uh, they say every rose, uh, so, like, kill the flowers, yeah. I just need to find the dodo. Here, dodo. Or is this a different quest? I think this is a different quest. Oh, dear. Die, hedge mole. This is mine. I just go where the map tells me. But I guess I'll quickly come over here and start killing some flora fauna. Ah, it's already completed and I contributed near nothing. But I'll just continue my quests. I raise you, hedge mole. Not so clever to fuck with me. Be gone, hedge mole. You do not frighten me. I just need to go back and find that one missing dodo and turn it. 
This is my MMO experience. I just go up to people. They're like, hey, do this thing. And then I do the thing. But so far, I've been having a... Like, I like the feel of it. As opposed to... Because a few days ago, I was trying... What's it? Uh, the Star Wars Old Republic. I was trying that. And I don't know. There was just something about the feel that... I don't know. Felt off. I think I just didn't like that there were like large stretches. Like so far, everything here seems nice. There's just something off about them. Let's see. Well, that was so easy. It makes me wonder why I've spent my life formulating complex solutions to problems rather than merely going around killing things. Nevertheless, I'm afraid it's too late to alter my methods now. I'll continue to focus on the complex solutions and have you stick around to kill things. What hubris! What arrogance to believe that I, one wo woman alone, could overcome this unfathomably vast and profound mysteries of nature. Whether you hear, I'm sure we can do it. He's in a bit of a tight spot. Care to partake in an inox uh, inoxorable march of science? The concoction I'm currently formulating could change horticulture as we know it. I imagine a fluid, uh, imagine a fluid one could strew over crops to ward off pests. <laughs> Pesticide. All I need are some ladybugs and, and someone to squash. Bleh. Ladybugs simply cannot resist aphids. Find some uh, aphic lavender, dab it on a bit of aphid nectar, and they'll come swarming to the slaughter. Yeah, missing Dodo. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you at all. Get in the sack. The one thing I'll have to get over is my, like, refusal to socially engage people within games if I'm to do, like, raids and stuff. <laughs> or dungeons, blah, blah, blah. I've heard everything. Hand me the dodos. <laughs> oh, my precious darlings, without their poison breath, they're defenseless out in the wild. Daddy Dodo gets so worried. And now my dodos have a mommy. You'll stay around and look after my babies, won't you? At least until they're ripe for the slaughter. <laughs> So far, I'm also liking the writing. The hilarious writing. To the map, I say. And it says to the adjoining area, to, to the mist. Maybe, let's see. Nope, it seems somebody in front of it will go about do the quests. That's almost over, probably, and it's level 9. Yep, we'll do we'll this and then head over there to kill the uh, the sheep. Now time to test fall damage. Oh yeah, the localization team are basically minor celebrities in the community. So good. <laughs> A good localization is good. Hmm, what is it, adventurer? Ah, yes, the auctions. By order of the Admiral herself... Missed him. All plots within are to be sold exclusively to adventurers, so it is to encourage their immigration to Lemza Lamenza. Why only adventurers, you ask? Practical uh, necessity, really. Lemza Lamenza is in dire need of fresh blood, capable, courageous adventurers who will fight her foes and protect her interests. Those who build a home here will have that much more incentive to aid us. As for what manner of place Mist is, I think it's best for, uh, that you journey there and see for yourself. Please direct any other questions you might have to, uh, to the recruit station just past the entrance. To proceed with this quest, where you may visit the residential within. Okay. Also, dungeons are designed to be relatively simple, especially main story dungeons. It's very much designed for people to just jump in and jump out without stress. That's good. That's always nice. No intricate puzzles or crazy shit in older, uh, in regular old dungeons. And plus, I think the system seems pretty easy, where you can be like, "I want to do this," and then it searches for you. I think it's like Party Finder. Or something like that. Or is it like Duty Finder? Something like that. Something down here that I will have to get used to using in the future, probably. I thought he said you were sleeping. 
A miller of no fleeces, an artist of no canvas, a poet of no words, a man with no purpose. Uh, you're poetic indeed with your rambling. Curse that blessed courier. Do the sheep stop growing? Does the mill stop churning? What entities him rest? Ah, uh, let me count sheep in his bed. The wool is at last mine, and so the felt shall be wrought. <laughs> Crazy man. Party finders for pre-made groups. Roll actions. Oh, I got the thingy. Yay. Recast 90 seconds. That's for big boys. Roll actions are spells and weapon skills that are assigned to all the classes within a roll. Tank, melee, DPS, uh, range DPS, healer rather than specific class. Roll actions are learned in the same manner as class actions via leveling, but only need to be learned once. The role section has been added. Actions and traits found under character in the main menu selecting will be display. The role actions rule. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is. Yep, reduces damage taken by 20%. Nice to know. And 90 second recast time. Mm -hmm. Winston, High Mill of the Grey Fleet. Of <laughs> Grey Fleet requires the help of an able adventurer. I'm probably laughing at something that's not meant to be funny. I don't know. I Whenever I'm like streaming, my brain is just like actually take things in now now felting wool is all good and uh well for your run-of-the-mill miller but n you know what gets my grindstone spinning grain what worth has wheat none but one shred into fabulous flour even the confounded gurlagos can't keep their hands off of it which is precisely why i need you to slay them and recover the four stacks they pilfered once you have done so take the stacks of flour down to the stead and scum her will take care of the rest Wishes to check for any trouble that might be milling around the Grey Fleet. Breathtaking, is it not? Proud sails turning, rugged gears churning, the mill never stops, and so neither can the millers assigned to its upkeep. Vigilance is the key. By addressing tomorrow's issues today, we assure the wheels of prosperity continue to grind. Unfortunately, I've had my hands full with the work of the day and cannot leave my station to tend to inspection. I would entrust this duty to you. Seek out the other three millers, heed their concerns, and appraise, uh, wait, Zarin, of your findings. Yeah, but... So far, Miller in Need has a big, big thing. Hmm. What be you? Why? Why, I ask you? Why do Galagos want anything to do with my flour? It's not as if they can bake it into bread or lemon cakes. They can't, can they? But that doesn't stop them from raiding my granaries day in and day out. If this goes on much longer, I will have nothing to take to market and my moneylenders will come for my only daughter. Please, I beg you, help me drive off the beasts. Uh, for this fate is eight. Sure. A thousand thanks! A thousand thousand thanks! If only I could find the words to thank you enough! Oh, they're there! They're here! Let's see how bad it is. Die, gotta go. I'm here to murder you and take things back. But yeah, so far I really like the feel. I really like the look. It just is nice. I'm gonna kill all the gotta goes. Well, I can't really engage because you'll go away. A high quality item. High quality items will be mm -hmm. we'll often have better stats than normal. Nice. You'll be uh, use it. Well, high HQ materials and stuff. This will sometimes yield better results. As you cannot be stacked with normal quest items uh, or normal stuff. Okay. Die, gotta go. Gotta go, die. I'm clever. Oh, should probably eat a flatbread, get more experience. Let's 
Let's see. Character, let's go to the armory chest, maybe. Equip this item, I guess. There! And now I have pants that kind of fit me. Wasn't a fan of that skirt anyway. I'll complete this fate by myself! How dare you throw things at me, you Galago bastard! Quit throwing rocks! You can't top me! The flower! Won't anyone think of the flower? I'll take them all on! But yeah, so far, like... I'm really liking that a lot of it is, like, very friendly for, like, a free-to-play player. Yay. I did things. <laughs> the Galago run away. But yeah, I think that's one of the things that kind of annoyed me about, uh, like, the old Republic Star Wars game that I uh, tried out. Was because it kind of felt like it was like, eh, eh, give us money, eh, 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 eh. Well, you see the mill spinning, don't you? What more do you need to know? Only problem I have is meddling in my chores. Away with you then. And while sure there is a bit of that with this, like the, oh, you can only have 300,000 gil and stuff like that, I do understand why. Because, uh, like, they don't want bots and just like, uh, random people to just create a bunch of free accounts and meddle with things. That I can respect. Why are you sitting on a rock? Do you want me to know what you did last summer? I haven't noticed anything myself, but let's have a look now, shall we? Hmm, look there, the sail's been nicked a bit, nothing urgent, mind you. The cloth we use in the same as these for sails out at the sea, made to stand up against blustering wind. So just slightly nicked thing. And plus, also, this game looks gorgeous. And it's running well for me. Mm, I love it. Ah, the mill is fine. We'd be wiser to concern ourselves with the grubby scavengers that rob us in our field. I'm still kind of f uh, find it funny that people are like, no, I don't feel the need to do all the side quests where I'm just like, but I want to. And so far, it's just like a nice feel to it. It lets me explore the countryside. Let's me exist. I trust you enjoyed your tour of the mill. You're impressed, yes? The matter of issue sales, most worrisome indeed. The matter shall be remedied at once. To delay acting until trouble occurs is to ask for trouble. The Grey Fleet stops for nothing. Full sail ahead! Do -do 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 -do. Oh, more quest? More quest? More quest indeed. Diminutive kobolds are wreaking great chaos of the Grey Fleet. Silence phone? The cobalt crimes of late give us ample cause for concern, yet White Zarin is content to pass them off as mere mischief-making. He cares more for uh, the welfare of his mills than the, that of his workers. If only his, my beloved Mogrem knew of my plight, I'm certain he would leap to my rescue all the way from his post at the Red Rooster. He often calls me his little lamb, and I'm certain my absence could only have made his heart grow fonder. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, lady. But... He called me the mother of his dodos, I think. I can only assume. And he seems quite infatuated with the animals. I wouldn't trust it. Ooh, this thing over here. Nope, it's not level 9, but I am level 9. And it's almost done. I do my, uh, my favorite zones. If you like them, do them. <laughs> indeed, hum, indeed. Oh, it looks like the fate disappeared. Uh, 
And there's a cave-in fate over there. Our thick lavender. Well, time to, I guess, fight some bugs. Die, bug! Get away! This is not for you! Die! This is not for you, even though I summoned you, you must die! I'm gathering their viscera. That's kind of disgusting. We'll go turn these in. Eh, it just it just feels nice. That's the one thing that is like most important for me in a MMO, it has to feel nice. Return to me once you've collected three vials of Ladybug Viscera. I have here Ladybug Viscera for you. It's elementary, really. Aphids live in fear of ladybugs, so applying the scent of ladybug blood to our crops is certain to ward off the parasites. We are manipulating the laws of nature. Of course, we could have just let the ladybugs go on defending the crops as always and not squash them for their viscera, but I hardly see the science in that. Let's see. Leather ring bands. I guess I like that one. Also, really like this system. The system is just the armory chest system. Love it. Indeed, the kobold steady incursions warrant wariness. <laughs> love the writing in this game. And now they freight my poor little lamb, the soul I love more than any other on two legs. <laughs> but now the question is, what about the souls on four? <laughs> we must summon the yellow jackets at once. I shall pin the missive warning, Ostafir, of the kobolds advance. You must deliver it to Lothrogan at the checkpoint. There is no time to spare. To reach the Lothling of Chickman, go first blind iron mines. Brooklet will guide you from there. Random dude in super armor. <laughs> All the eggs and milk in the world don't matter a lick without flour. And here you have flour. Not that flower's any good on its own, mind you. The Galagos just hoard whatever they can get their filthy paws on. But now we've got the whole kit and caboodle, thanks to you. It's a relief you were around, but at the end of the day, we're still utterly unprepared for should this sort of thing happen again. I want the hat. Scarveyor of the Red Rooster seeks adventure who can serve up some justice. I keep watch over the gates here at the stead, but my watch extends only so far. The stagecoach was supposed to pull in today never made it past the blind iron mines. Word arrived not long ago that it was laid by someone or something. The coachman is a plucky fellow if I know way... Uh, way, way, hoy, may, hoy. Wahoy, mahoy. He'll be poking around the mines, plotting to salvage his consignment. But ultimately, he is just one man. It would uh, put my mind at ease if you could get his aid. Wahoy mahoy! <laughs> the names in this game are insane. One Pikman enters. Okay, a level 45 thing was there, I think. I'm gonna let that be, haha! <laughs> I'm probably going to check out that fate. Maybe do some things there. I mean, no one else is doing the fate. Why shan't I? Fate says I must be the one. This fate, it's mine.
be gone. I forgot to put on my pot hat. I can't do that. In Might as well try. Use the thing! Oh, dare it. I don't need that, even though it's my ability. Oh, pushing me. And it still hit me. There I go. I did good, I guess. And now I can put on my pot hat. Furious Farmer. I guess that's just a quest to start another. So, blah. In fact, isn't this? Yeah, I think this is actually uh, where I need to go. There are a lot of fucking fates. What is it, bro? Run to. Bound for the Law Thuggan checkpoint, you've come to the right minds. You'll find most citizens of the Dark will leave you be so long as you extend them the same courtesy, but kobolds can be a bit more belligerent. Still, nothing adventure of your venturesomeness couldn't handle, I suppose. Alright, uh... Well, this time we've dug ourselves into a hole, well and truly. Struck brimstone while shoveling through the mines, and now the rocks uh, are rife with reek of rotten eggs. The gas grew to be too much to bear. You'll need this uh, clear earth crystal if you're to restore the earth and plug the leak properly. Just mind the sorfid clouds brought on by the brimstone. Wahoy mahoy. You must be the help that Skymere sent. I thought you'd never get here. The kobolds stuck me up in a skedaddle with the garments. But don't worry, none. I'm fixing to get him back so he, uh, so as we can get him back. All you gotta do is mosey up in the close of the stagecoach. They hit and peek in, and uh, you bet your bottom gill those kobolds will come a calling. And once those critters come out, thwack! You pop them in the jaw and snag the loot. It's foolproof. Damaged Wayne. This is the stagecoach? Wait, he's so tiny. Who would waylay such a small stagecoach? I'm here to kill you. Ugly little bastard. Nope. Nope. Gotta get used to the AoEs. I'll be a professional fighter in no time. Ta-da! Gas plume. Lots of things to do. Use. I just love the feel. The feel is what I'm good for. It's what's nice. And especially because people are like, hey. It gets really good once you get to level 50 and Heaven Sword starts. So it's just like, I'm having this much. <gasps> Ow! What the hell? I was not expecting this. I probably should have, but eh. I will maim you. I shall smack you. Okay, that, that was a, a, a mount coming through here. At least I think it's a mount. 
It'd be weird if just a super fast elephant careens on through. Okay, a seerfid cloud of living hell. The vets had a different experience in ARR. A realm reborn. That's just the funny thing, is just like, the first Final Fantasy XIV, bad, got nuked to hell. Then they rebirthed it into something people liked, and then it gets even better from there. It's just like a real underdog, uh, underdog story. Now that's a breath of fresh air. For many of the miners, a bit of brimstone is nothing to write home about, but I'm the one who has to write the letters when the gluttons choke to death down there. The prices, uh, medals command in the wake of calamity will make us either rich or dead. Ooh, leather boots. Can either have, uh... Nine and nine. Or six and twelve. I think that one's just like a better choice. An overall increase. Also, the expansions are just so good, it's, it's kind of shocking. That's the one thing that has me worried. What if... I, like, uh, get into the game, and then it's just like, and now, you have to pay money. Oh, no. Fear. Ring of Fidelity. Why did I not equip you? Need to look this over more. Wahoy mahoy. You done good, partner. Round it up enough to bring back to the stead, reckon? I'll tend to the rest of this mess here. You go ahead and make sure old Skarnar gets the goods. But yeah, they trimmed the leveling experience a bit and boosting XP rates. A lot of us ARR players still remember f fake grinding for hours to catch up to the main story quests and things. <laughs> that I can see. That I can see. Especially because I also, yeah, rode to 70. And then, like, I'm still not sure if, like, other things okay. There's about a, a bunch of chaos going on over there. This reminds me of my want to do a, like, create a single-player MMORPG. Less like just like, oh, you're playing an MMO, but alone, but more like a game that exudes the feel and atmosphere of an MMO with none of the hang-ups. Perhaps someday. But until then, this, this is coming up to be good. So far, like, everything that I've heard, everything that I've seen, and so far what I've played, just all coming up to be very, very good. Good to see you return to us unharmed. Here, have thing. Yep, a lot of veteran players don't realize that a Realm Reborn is fine in its current state. <laughs> and with three full bags, no less, I'm grateful, but I hear this is hardly the last we'll hear of the kobolds. They have been growing more relentless in recent moons, and this trend is likely to continue. Anok must be appraised of this incident. War is at our doorstep. And didn't they also cut, like, 18% of some quests to, like, cut down on the amounts of busy work you have to do in A Realm Reborn now? Or at least at some point? So the kobolds are at it again. Not content with their own territory, the creatures have been pouring forth from their subterranean dwellings to wreak havoc on Lumenson land. But we won't stand for it. Our livelihoods are at stake. Alas, we're neither side willing to give any ground. I fear there may be no peaceful solution. Let's see. Either strength or dexterity, intelligence and mind. Strength and dexterity. Marauder, beast gauge, unlock. An axe to grind. I got a lot of things there. Beast gauge. The symbol indicate the defensive stance defiance is in. Effect, which increases en uh, yeah, enmity. You can view the job gauge description at any time with actions and traits. Okay, let's see. Defiance. Uh, increases enemy generation. Okay, I'm gonna... The cuts quests are side content now. Ah! Delivers an instant po uh, potency of 330 to all enemies in a cone before you. Okay, I'm going to move... And move you over here. Oh, uh, you quest. 
Uh, I wish I could move that. I probably can. <laughs> the Anok seems confrontational couple is imminent. Ooh! Cutscene? You see with your own eyes how the kobolds have taken arms against us. The minds of Ogormoro aren't enough for the nat uh, native nuisances of northern Vilbrand anymore. They've come to claim what is ours. Long ago, our war-weary forebears struck a short-sighted peace with the kobolds. What lay beneath the sea was Talimza's. What lay underground was Ogormoro's. Yet what resolved one conflict created another, as the sea cannot fully feed, clothe, and shelter the children of land. Realizing this, the kobolds tacitly condoned the laments and settlement of La Noskia. We shared an unspoken agreement, but now the kobolds aggressively assert their dominion, threatening our very survival. Adherence to a pact is meaningless if it means our demise. It comes time for us to take a stand. Seek the wisdom of Arlino to learn how. Basically, when you do group content, you will need to find on all the way to... Uh, yep, I remember that from uh, uh, a crap guide to being a tank in this game. Uh, it's very straightforward to maintain threat in the game. But like, uh, when it comes to single player content, maybe not have that. Oh, and there's another quest up there. And I'm sure I could like move that in the... Hey, I want to move things. HUD layout. Beast gauge. There's like five billion. You can be down here. Let's see. Alliance list, alliance list, target bar, status info effects. There's a lot of things, you know, keep it like that. So Anok has at last banded the native uh, naive hope that the kobold menace would abate of its own accord. <gasps> Larry Czar, I'm guessing. Uh, no, uh, Joe Cat. Joe Cat did uh, a crap guide to D&D &D classes, and then he started doing a crap guide to uh, Final Fantasy XIV classes, like tanks and healers. The numbers have increased uh, manifold as they expand southward. The food shortages spurred by overpopulation quicken the cycle of aggression. A common beggar would uh, know better than to expect foodstuffs aboard a stagecoach bound for the stead, where the filthy scamps grow desperate. We need only set the bait, and their hunger will be their undoing. Tell Anok to make the arrangements. Chocobo keep. I can't wait till I get my own chocobo. Ingenious, we'll trap the hungry kobolds as one would any rodent. And I know just the bait to set. Tell Scranamar to set aside some dodo meat from our next shipment. S uh, set a bit of that in blind iron mines and the little gluttons won't be able to resist. Oh. Hello, Chocobo Keep. What you gotta say? Well, my traveler, might I interest you in Chocobo Porter? Ah, uh, do not tell me this is your first shop to uh, visit to this shop. I shall update my address for your name so that you may access this location in the future. Uh, what is this? Ah, Porters. Porters are similar to rental Chocobos in that they can be hard to carry you to quickly various destinations. The difference being that you cannot control these birds. Ah, so they're taxis. No, thank you. I do not need a taxi. We're gonna kill some kobolds. Aha! Uh -huh. I hand dead dodo to you, and you kill kobolds for me? A bargain if I ever heard one! Take this over to Kwabati, south of the mine. She'll know where it goes. Take this over here, and then do that, and then do this, and then we genocide the little freaks. You know you're not in D&D &D when they're like, we're gonna genocide the kobolds. In D&D, &D, or at least so I've heard, you adopt the kobolds. Create your own mini army. I still want to play D&D, &D, but the only time, I only got like a, a chance to do a one shot, and then and just now, all the other people, just like, nah, I can't do it. Profound sadness. And then couple in my antisocial nature where I don't want to, like, bother people so I don't send out the first message unless it's just kind of like in a general chat of a Discord server and then nothing happens. Because I'm a fool.
We're gonna kill some people. Good to see the Red Rooster's dead hasn't turned chicken on us. Once you've found the good uh, hiding spot, open the crate of meat nearby. The kobolds will follow their noises. By the time they see you, it'll be too late. Literally just gonna genocide some freaks. Destination. But is it final? Or am I the bait? Crate of meat. The weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> Standing watch. You will die. Nope. Die, Dustman. I murdered people. I kind of like the atmosphere here. Even though it's probably just like a random weather. It's like, and now there's gonna be in like nighttime fog. Or it could actually be, ah, oh, we don't want to overload your computer, have fog. Honey. F Framinty. A tasty gruel of cracked wheat, raisins, and spices, boiled in ald goat meat. I shall eat another. Oh, they stack? Neat. Ah, oh, you've done it. I expected no less. I don't know what we've done without you. Which makes me wonder what we'll do once you've gone. I was hoping you might visit the Drowning Winch and speak to Badaran. It's no secret the old jackets pay him heed, but mayhap you will put in a word so that the stead might procure their protection. Then I guess I'll go do one more thing and head off to the... The lambs. Do a bit more questing. And then... Probably I'll call it there once we do a few more quests. Because it is getting late. But I'll definitely have to play this again sometime. Which probably means setting up a proper streaming schedule so that I can force myself to play good games. Yeah, just super nice. The greatest challenge will be getting to the social aspects of the game in the future, potentially. <laughs> just lots of report, report, report. But I want to kill some lamb. Now, let's see. Uh, 
I will go over there, say hello. Probably ignore you just because. <laughs> it needs to end eventually. Yeah, you can even see the crystal from here in the fog. Oh yeah, if I like talk to him, it'll be like, here's five billion things I want you to do. And I'll be like, oh no. Yeah, just turn it in. He'll be like, hey, do more things. And I'll just go kill lamb. And get to like a town sanctuary to end, I guess. Because I think you get a bonus if you end, log out in a sanctuary place, perhaps. My knowledge, it is quite small, actually. Look at all my titles. Chocobo Keep. What do you have to say for yourself? Or is that just the Chocobo Keep thing? I guess I need to go through the main door. Maybe. Nope, not that main door. Ooh, I could actually attune. Yay. I'm gonna... Guess I'll grab your quest and then I'll finish that one, attune, and fly away. Well, but I need to kill the lamb! Gwynedea seeks courageous pioneers who can tame the wilderness of Summerford Farms. Summerford Farms bears the charge of Admiral's uh, Settlement Initiative. We're awarded handsomely to brave new frontiers. Yet if we fail to fulfill our part of the bargain, the grant will be withdrawn. In spite of this, the washed up pirates elect to laze their days away. There is still time. We need to clear away the rocks and debris for the area to be deemed settled. If you're willing to help, you need to shovel outside the hut on the hillside. I keep going all the wrong way to get to him. The Summerford man. I'll grab you in a moment. I'll grab you later. Hello. Uh, you must be the adventurer Badaran promised to send along. Neon Icy Wings, wasn't it? You honored his word, and s that's a good start. I'm Stalwin, the old bastard, as Badaran likely described me. And this here is my humble orchard. A good number of the lads and lasses working here once terrorized the high seas. And if you're wondering why I employ these scrags, well, they used to crew my pirate ship. But the calamity did a... But the Calamity did for our ship like it did so many others, and I was sore wounded in the bargain. I had to feed myself and my crew somehow, and the Admiral Merrowib's initiative to get us landlocked buccaneers working the field seemed too fine an offer to refuse. Well, it seems... Well, it turns out you can take the pirate away from the sea, but you can't take the sea away from the pirate. A lot of my blokes just never took to the tending soil, you see. And unfortunately, the botanists I called in to train them have been wringing their hands in black despair. With so much work piling up, I need tougher soul like you to step in and help where it's needed. Ah, none of these are pretty good. Like, yeah, neither of these are good. Which ones has better sell? They sell for both go. Profound sadness. Go ahead and accept. 
have a mind to, uh, I have a mind to set you to task, Icy Wings. And before you, d I do, I need to be sure you're probably kitted out. Pirates don't care to parlay with dandies. You understand? It might well be to be, blah, 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 but the steel rogues at heart. I know a solid set of gear when I see it. Come back when you think there's more suitably equipped. Ah, already. You can view equip and remove. To equip an item, first select the desired slot. Hmm. Ah, so that's how you're supposed to get it to it normally. Apparently, aside from my separates, everything should be fine. Shall we? Ho oh, ho! As long as you're this well covered, I won't feel any guilt throwing you into the sharks. Erstwhile buccaneers are an ornery lot. They rage and love for the sea and care little for the laws of the land. But they respect strength, and by the looks of it, I'd say you have a little trouble getting their attention. Let's see. <gasps> a new axe. More physical damage. You mean it's only one. Leather grimoire. Bronze dagger. Kind of funny that they don't have it programmed to specifically be like, ah. Uh, our confidence that you've not been out since we met. I hope you've, uh, I've read you all right. All right for the, uh, blah, 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 and the score and the rock. I shall accept. Good to hear, then I, sh I shall lay before you this sorry tale. You'll have heard rumors of abductions. I, citizens, have been disappearing from every corner of Limsa Lominsa as I've plucked from the face of Hidden. And boots and all by an unseen hand. And what's this got to do with Summerford Farms, you might ask? Well, that remains to be seen, but it seems a collection of right unsavory fellows with azure tattooed faces have been creeping up at the edges of the fields and spying on my Yui men. And now I don't... You know, I doubt anyone would enjoy being scrutinized by such savages at the best of times, but the farmhands are convinced that they're the kidnappers of rumor come for their hides. Needless to say, they're beside themselves with worry and their work suffering for it, which is the very last thing I need when my old crewmen are still getting used to their new jobs. Tis a struggle to get them to leave the farmhouse of a morning. That is, as they say, where you come in. Would you be willing to investigate these tattooed thugs for me? Sure. Good lass. The sooner we get to the bottom of this, the sooner the place will start to resemble a working farm again. I suggest you begin by having a look around the Sison Grotto. If reports are to be believed, our unwelcome visitors have occupied the place. Be careful, though. I couldn't say for sure the manner of miscreants we're dealing with here. If they are the kidnappers, well, just be on your guard, all right? I'll be sure to come back later, but now I need to go kill... Freaking... See. Duty. Journal, perhaps. Show me the map. Apparently, the sheep are supposed to be out here. Damn. By the way. Hmm, actually, might be smart to fly back home, since I'll be on the right side. Oh, hey, a griffin. Cool. Plus, I need to attune to you anyway. While learning the spell Teleport, you are now able to travel instantly between Aetherites to which you are tuned. Access to the teleportation menu by selecting Teleport under the... Unlike other spells, Teleport does not require MP to cast, and instead it uses a type of naturally regenerated spiritual energy. A small fee of gill, however, must be paid to keepers of the Aetherite so that they can maintain the crystals to defend them from those who would see them destroyed. The fee varies depending on travel distance and remoteness of Aetherite location. Registering an Aetherite as a favored destination will reduce the amount of gill required to travel there. Up to three favored destinations can be registered at one time. I shall teleport. Take me. Because I'm lazy. We'll go to the lower docks. 
then head to the proper place and hope things can go well and we can kill the sheepies and just turn in some quests and then be off. And again, let's go to duty journal. Sheepish request. Aha! This way. But yeah, so far this game feels really homey. Of course I need to talk to a motherfucker. Once fresh lamb does it, gods, I could do a slice of myself. So, sorry friend, I haven't had a single bite to eat since my ship began. Hey, old, you can get lamb easily enough by hunting lambs that graze outside the city. Go through the Zephyr Gate and follow the path east and south a bit. You'll run to fluffy, tasty critters before long. I need to talk to him. But where's the sheep? I feel like I've been had again, Billy. Nope, air this way. I need to take the. There we go. Time to kill. Do not leave at me, you did. You will die by my axe, little sheepy. And now I'll go back, turn in some quests, and it'll all be hunky dory. And then I think by ending within there, things will be nice. I can't wait to get more jobs. Limza la Minza. Also, of course, I picked the piratey place to begin my journey. Let's see, do I turn in any over here? Nope, they're all to the upper decks. Attendant, take me up uh, to the drowning winch, shall we? I have entered a sanctuary by leaving a sanctuary into a sanctuary. And the music is so good. Glory days. Should Joby said an adventure might be drummed by to deliver something special that you lost? Here, have some umbrellas. Ah, hell's lost. You didn't have to go to all this trouble. <laughs> this goddamn smell. I've made an oily umbrella since I was so sore. It was only the nastiest shot I ever put in my mouth. We tried sprinkling it with salt and cooking it over a campfire, but it was a little bit... Uh, it was... Still a little better than chewing on driftwood. Try for yourself, lass. See how it mean. Bait and swat. So the steads and over their heads of the kobolds, aren't they? 
Twas wishful thinking to believe the mine rats would stay put in Okramoro. Any barkeep can tell you as rodents won't be spread. This wave just comes sooner than reckoned. The pact was a farce. No handshake ever sold the blood feud. We just needed to lick our wounds a little is all. Well, I suppose they'll all be sealed up. Even in the maelstrom taking note of how the rascals run rampant. You can be sure to... Be, uh... You can be sure they're ordin crystals to summon Titan, and God's help us if they do. Lumzo look back on these petty thefts and skirmishes as the good old times when the day comes, I tell ya. And there won't be a company of heroes around to answer our prayers this time, neither. Ooh! Do we get to fight Titan in a dungeon super early? Well, Nonzo and Provision. And Nonzo and Provision's worth a pawn's a cure. I'll take. I'll talk to the Yellow Jackets and see if they can't slow the Kobold's advance on the state. Like, I already have a better ring. Oh no! Ah, so you slew a few rats. Good on you, lass. This bloke comes through the other day and plops this huge sack of size of bleeding gobble. Who on the counter saying any man what slays rats can have something from within? When I inquire as to why, all he says is the damn noise they make when scurrying about is driving him insane. You ask me, though, he was already a bit touched. Something tells me the poor laddles never find peace. And once again... Just more sh fodder to be sold. I'll go turn in these quests, and then I think that will be it. So far, lots of fun. It feels like a, I don't know, a more genuine MMO experience than I've had before. Then again, it is, like, does come from, uh, like, fi a, a group of people, developers, that actually seem to super care about a game and its quality. Have you any luck obtaining the fresh lamb? Please hurry, the guests are arriving any moment. Here's, uh, you have meat. Four slices of fresh lamb and uh, right in the nake of time. Thank you ever so much. Tis times like this I feel fulfilled in my role. I used to be a chef myself, you see, but my skills weren't quite up to par. So when the Bismarck expanded operations, I used to be made as provision instead. Provisioner. This way I can still be part of the business in spite of my shortcomings. So many quests. Ah, <laughs> that graphical glitch is no longer here, yay. You return to me a different woman. Already your face shows a harder cast as realization of the slaughter of which you are capable. But there is much more training to be done before you will wield the axe to its fullest potential. Learn well your lessons, build your strength, and make it seek swing an instinctive act. You shall have this hunting log to aid you in this that endeavor. Its pages are marked with the opponents suitable for honing your skills. There are, of course, myriad methods by which you might improve your techniques. But, though, but when the way forward is not readily apparent, the log provides a reliable source of challenge. Every blow of your weapon will clear another step towards the mastery of the Marauder Way. Implacable, relentless. Such must be your momentum on both the practice grounds and the battlefield. The next Marauder quest will be available for, upon reaching level 5. Well, wow, would you look at that? I am level 11. <laughs> Hunting log obtained. Oop, oh, one second. The hunting log is a record of your compl uh, completion of tasks <laughs> involving the slaying of certain creatures. By completing these tasks, you will earn rewards and unlock new challenges as the log must be accessed via logs. 
Once the log is open, select a class and difficulty to view the available challenges for that rank. Each challenge is marked with a class name and number, such as Lancer 1. Below the name and number, you will find the target as well as how many of the target you must defeat. Cool! Targets indicated. Hmm, cool, cool. That's kind of like a, a, a mini quest to be, in a way. Neon, you approach me with a marauder's stride, determined, unswerving, and bereft of the hesitation that marked our first meeting. I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin a new stage of your training. Now what sets that axe aside from the gladius or the dagger? It is the raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. And that overwhelming power can only be properly directed by extraordinary physical strength. Thus, we come to the core of this day's lesson. Such strength as a marauder must possess is developed through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild. A method that you too shall be taught to employ. Present yourself to Broenbar at the practice arena downstairs and he shall instruct you further. Hell yeah, having lots of fun. But I do believe that will be it for now. Log out? I would like to log out indeed. So, my overall thoughts for my first four-ish hours of playing Free Trial Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy XIV Online. It's really, really good. It really has a good feel to it. It has... Like, it looks good, it plays good, it has good pacing. Now, that is to say, I'm an enjoyer of single-player games where they're like, Here, have story. But people who play MMOs might not enjoy story at first, but... For me, Final Fantasy XIV so far has been the best MMO I've ever played. I've only... I haven't played too, too many. I've played a decent amount here or there. Like, I've played All Odds, I've played Fly for Fun, Maple Story... Like, some of the classics. But I never played ones like uh, World of Warcraft. I only just started playing. Oh. And of course, my internet decided to die when I'm giving my final thoughts. Curse you, internet! It's even gonna... I don't know. And now, my, now, now that my internet decided to stop being crazy, as I was saying, I played a lot of... Uh, I've played a few MMOs in the past. Like, again, Maple Story, Fly for Fun, All Odds, those free-to-play ones. And dip my toes in the ones like Ragnarok 2, I think it was. <laughs> in my past, I played a lot and forgot a lot of them. But so far, Final Fantasy XIV uh, has been utterly magical. A lot of fun. I like the pacing. I like the graphics. I like just, like, so much about it. Super, super fun. Super, super fun. And I will definitely play more of it in the future. Especially because the trial has no time limit. The time limit is basically how much of the content you consume. And then you're like, oh no. I have to start playing, mon putting money in there eventually. But hey, um, $77 for 180 days worth of content? Maybe. Worth it. Uh, Humdrum says, if you end up continuing, I'd love to see what you think about the story as a whole. I will definitely give my thoughts on the story in the future because I'm going to be, like, at the very least recording my experience, if not outright streaming it every single time I play. And we'll have to see. But yeah, so far, lots of fun. Magical. Great music, great graphics, great flow. Not so much on the story, primarily just because I haven't gotten to the story all that much. <laughs> But I will definitely see more of this in the future. Anyway, I've been Neon Icy Wings. You can see me around in different places like Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, such things. If you like more from me, check those out. But yes, and thank you, Humdrum, for coming on over and chatting up. But yes, I will see everybody in the future playing this game or other games. And it'll be loads of fun, hopefully. Aha! Thank you very much for stopping by, and I will see you all next time! To all of my children, in whom life flows up and down. To all of my children, to whom death hath passed his judgment.